All righty. Let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear me. Hello, Penguin Question Mark, Willie Fish, Dr. Mothman, Kyer, Bleak Werewolf, Woodkin, Mooksy, Augmented, Butterscotch, Bunyip, Delta Wave, Spicy, Zamonica, Evaldus, Me, or Dog, Pit Panther, the 42nd, Midnight Note, Box Tofu, Ron M.U., The Beans, Otterbug. What's going on, fellas? I hope your cocks are well. Uh, thank you, Glitch Wizard, for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Jess Long, regular Matt, Sellison, most creative name, half talent, just a robot mom. Perugi, Ghost by Go. Thank you, Ritzier, for the 16 months. Appreciate it. Hello, Real Winter Sleep. Tomato is a fruit. Omen Air, Crim 315. I almost said 314. That would have been a disaster. Hello, Live 176. Apple for Apples. Ricky Knight 5000. Weevil GF. Monochrome Guardian. Thank you for the 49 month resub. Started the Hermod grind for my Necro Power Armor. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing in that game now. I I, I need to grind like Shades of Morton or something. So just uh, there's like a thousand things I need to do and I'm not doing a great job at doing any of them. Hello Silver Fox, hello little baby Minx. Can I get me a birthday song? Yeah. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to little baby Minx and Misa Coco. Happy birthday to you. Hello, Microtonal Matt, Energy, Peachy, 910, Virtuoso, Yasami, Genso, Gray Sketch, Otaki, Colonel Martyr, uh, Dan PMK, Danky Brain, Mooksy, uh, Cherizard, Opticable, White Male Fart Stream, I sure fucking hope not. I don't often think about that guy, and I can't say it's a, uh, it's a great feeling whenever I do remember. Hello, Splittin'. Hello, Zary. How did you sleep? I went to bed at 4 a.m., which is really early for me right now, and slept until 2.30, which is the longest I've slept in months. So, yippee. Woohoo. Hello, Oregon Death Race, Abyssal Spirit. You also missed Hatsune Maiku's birthday. I don't really give a shit about the birthdays of fictional characters, personally. Um, never been a thing for me. Hello, Zarks. Congrats, yeah, yeah. I, I got woken up like four times throughout that period, but it was still way better than usual. Hello, Yaminski. I think one of the dogs stepped on the remote for the television, and I was woken up to some fucking advertisement on Roku. So that's how my day started. I don't know how the fuck they managed to do that. I never found where the remote was, but the TV just turned on and started playing shit. So... Uh, thank you, Cry EG, No Nut, for the 37 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Stark Angel. Maybe a gnome turned it on, perhaps. Maybe there's a hacker outside of my house trying to turn all my TVs on. Uh, thank you, Big Animal Titties, for the 31 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello, Valk. Hello, Brunerth. Hello, Sushi Fish 100. Hello, Never Lucky. Brunerth, are you still mad about the robots, bro? My sister is home with her baby and it's a nightmare trying to sleep. Can't move out soon enough. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to do that. But I also... Dogs are almost as bad as babies sometimes with the amount of barking they can do. Robots are lame. What the fuck, dude? Robots are awesome. I didn't really like that game that much until I started fighting the robots. Hello, Andrew. The bugs just kind of feel like... I, I don't know. They, it feels too samey to other things I've played, like Dark Tide, like Vermin Tide, like Deep Rock Galactic. Um, the robots feel fresh and interesting, even if they are harder. I'm still mostly blaming my lack of equipment. Yeah, you got to get the little lightning gun, and then it'll be easy. Sup, Tolo? You were right about guys that choose to play as girls in games. I came out as trans to my family last night. It went well, but my nerves were shot the whole time. Well, if we're being honest, there are not a lot of instances of me being wrong in general about anything ever. So that's not a surprise. Uh, I'm, I'm glad it went well. Very good shit. 
True. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't know, because I'm, like, the dumbest person imaginable, but, like, I'm right a disgusting amount of the time. I don't know. <laughs> it's sucking my own dick a little bit here. Uh, I, I shouldn't be as right as often as I am, at the very least. I guess it's the fool who pointed out the king has no clothes. Hello, Kratok. I think I froze my paints and lost my printer USB, so I'm mad. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. I still need to get into the uh the airbrush shit again but the weather has not exactly been permitting here it is uh a minor nightmare it's always humid or raining or fucking now it's like 40 degrees hello grave digger dampy caramel and mocha bugs are a good way to ease into hell divers but i find the automatons are very fun and much more fun to fight since they shoot back yeah i don't know what it is like i i haven't played enough to articulate exactly why i prefer them so heavily but I don't know. They're just a lot more fun. I do just like robots in general. So I feel like they also kind of force you to be aggressive. I caught this guy fucking my girlfriend. I knew she was acting odd because she kept staying out late and coming home with taco sauce on her. During sex, she'd scream to give her my $5 foot long, but I'm only three inches and $5 is way too much for what I'm giving. One day I came home to find her getting plowed against the wall by this guy with a cheesy gordita crunch. I tried to fight him, but he slapped me so hard it broke every window in the house. Subscribed, and I'd love to see a Baconator review. Well, I've, I've eaten a Baconator before. I can give it to you right now. Um, it's all right, it's, but it's too expensive for what you get. I, I, I have like a personal... Uh, I don't really like the square Wendy's patties very much. I if I, I'm sure some people do, but I don't know why they bother me to the extent that they do. I understand why they are the way they are, but I don't know. I'm just not that big on Wendy's. Hello, Vok. Hello, Andrew. Not a not a huge Wendy's head, especially after that surge pricing debacle. It's now, now I'm going to not eat Wendy's even harder. I saw Doom Two yesterday. Good shit, brothers. I wanted to get the popcorn. Worm topper? Is that like a distant relative to the Cleveland steamer? What the fuck is the popcorn worm topper? What kind of deviant sex act are we discussing now? Wendy's got rid of the only thing I like. Getting there during COVID. RIP spicy chicken go wrap. Did you get the triple and did they charge you extra? I think it's been like at least six years since I've had a Baconator from Wendy. So, uh, or Wendy's. I don't know why she's singular now, you know, dehumanizing her. It's been a long fucking time. Hello, Aviator. Hello, Little Miss Pink. Still bummed I threw away my commemorative Avatar movie cup. Yeah, yeah, she was like, I want to get this souvenir cup. And we're leaving the fucking movie and she just tosses it in the trash and we don't realize it until we're in the car. I get the bacon here once in a while and I like it. See, Wendy's pisses me off because Wendy's used to be the best. Like, I remember, what what year did the Burning Crusade come out for World of Warcraft? How long ago was that, roughly? 2008? 2007? Somewhere around there, right? In that, 2006, okay, okay, so I'm, I'm a little too late. In that general space of time, though, the specific year doesn't matter that much. Their nuggets used to be so fucking good. Like, manna from heaven, God's gr gift... To man, woman, they, thems, and dogs. They were so good. And they've changed the recipe to be worse and worse over time. And now they're just trash, dude. Like a couple months ago, I got this feed the fam thing, which was like a 50 nugget platter from Wendy's. And they're like, like Burger King tier now. They're really not that good. So that is like, if Wendy's in my mind is the number one example of a place getting shittier over time. It used to be my favorite, and now I won't eat there at all. The fries improved like almost two years ago at least. Wendy slapped in the early 2000s. Tastes like weasel knuckles and fish ankles. I don't know what the fuck that means. Let's look at this, Splitting. So, uh, I think that I might be just a little bit too terminally online because you don't want to know what I thought of when I saw this thing. Uh, this is the worm popcorn topper, everybody. Um, yeah. Yep. 
It sure is a popcorn worm topper. <laughs> it sure is. Sure looks good. Sure looks like it'll enhance the movie viewing experience. Hello, Recon. Hello, Pop It App. I've never really liked Taco Bell. Not a Taco Bell head. Hello, Fakey. You know someone's fucked one of these already, right? Is this that's supposed to make you not want to get the popcorn out? I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. The sides are even shaped like fingers. I wonder if you thought the same thing that SNL did last week. I don't think I've ever once in my life watched SNL. Taco Bell had one thing I ate there and they got rid of it, so I've had zero reason to go there. Someone probably fucked it before the movie even started. That would enhance my viewing experience. I feel like it would be a it would be a memorable experience if you went to a movie theater and someone started fucking the popcorn thing next to you. It'd be kind of gross. <laughs> It'd be pretty fucking gross. But I would always remember that experience in like a good light. I watched it back in the day, but I thought Mad TV was better at that. I actually watched Mad TV as well, and I haven't thought about that in a long fucking time. Wow. I remember. In addition, remember that one thing where we did the uh, the monster high with the voices on uh, someone else's stream and people thought I sounded like Snake? I think the second most common thing people said about my voices is that one of them sounded like Stuart from Mad TV, I think. There was like this guy who was like, he had like a dumbass fucking voice. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but. Hello, Shivian. Hello, Mihawk. You do sound like Snake. Well, obviously not when I'm talking like this, but when I'm like, Hello there, boys and girls. Would you like to suck my cock? Like that that voice, specifically. People were not saying it to be kind then. I, you know. Hello, little poppy. That group of people did not often say things with the express purpose of being kind in general. Came for the popcorn flashlight, but also good evening. Well, let me... I should get this off of the screen just in case people think that I'm going to, like, fuck this for content. Just sounded like a year-round smoker. Yeah, yeah. My voices were shit, and I should have died. I was. It was disgraceful that I was on that uh, prestigious uh, show. I forgot about the counterspell this time. Good idea. Save that for the pay-me-tons. Yeah. Sounded like a Morrowind Dark Elf. I'm so pissed it wasn't available in Australia. Movie was good. Can't wait for part three. I've never consumed anything Dune. Maybe... Well, no, I probably never will. <laughs> I probably never fucking will. I, I think... Uh, I think that's a bit above my intellectual pay grade. The old Dune is good. I'm sure I'd like it if I motivated myself to go and see it. I really... I don't dislike that many things. I know that's that's probably... It doesn't sound that way when I'm talking like this. But think about how many just like bad indie games, like Vetus games, that I actually end up enjoying for the most part. I got a pretty... You can stomach most things. Old movie was done by Lynch, so maybe you like that more. I do like David Lynch, so maybe. Dune Part 1 is on Netflix if you have it. No, we've actually had a jihad in our household about Netflix because Autumn wants to watch uh, Bookerton. I don't remember. Like, she wants to watch one thing. It's like Bookerton or Bookingstons or something like that. And she's, like, getting Bridgerton. Yeah, yeah, that one, I think. So we've been talking about getting Netflix. I'm like, babe, we can go half and half. And she's like, no, no, I don't want to get it. Don't do it. I mean, I'm not watching it, but uh, she wanted to watch it. So, hello, Empty Perspective. I said, baby, just play RuneScape. Trust me, nothing nothing bad will happen if you play RuneScape with me. Paddington, good shit. Fuck Netflix. It's just a sex show. Oh, yeah? Have you seen the new Avatar? Are we talking, like, the blue people Avatar? Are we talking about, like, cop goes here arrow on head Avatar? Otter played once and never again. Last Airbender. Um, I still haven't finished the original show. We were watching it and I finished season one. And um, we've been meaning to watch seasons two and whatever else. However many there are. But I, I haven't gotten around to it. It takes an act of God to get me to sit down and watch something. 
Hello Zero T beat. Rangatan RuneScape woodworking video has been playing on repeat in my head. It's so good because the robot orangutan, like duping the real one, is just like RuneScape. It's hard to really hard to really describe it unless you've actually played RuneScape. It's more accurate than you know. Got a good free site that I used to watch everything if y'all want it. I'm I'm afraid Sean runs that website. If you do get the worm mossy popcorn holder and dump chicky nuggies down it. <sighs> you know online streaming is fucked when Pokemon has an official webpage for how to watch which season. I've heard that like there's a bunch of weird stuff with like digital preservation. Um, I read on Twitter, and I know Twitter is not exactly the most reputable source, but I, I don't see any reason to disbelieve what I saw on this particular topic. Um, they're taking all the Adult Swim games down. It's like Duck Game and all the ones that are associated with Adult Swim. Like Warner Bros. is like axing them for some like dumbass tax reason or perceived tax reason. So they're trying to uh, they're trying to legitimately just remove the ability to play some of those games. <laughs> so we live in a pretty pretty good uh, timeline for digital preservation. Tolo gained an hour. Yeah, this is probably really fucking weird for people who don't live in the United States. I don't. I think we're the only people who do daylight savings, right? Worst movie company, man. Even the Steam ones. I think so. I don't know the full details, but I know there. I saw one of the. People saying uh, they were worried the duck game was going to get removed. One of them went to give him the finger. How is Warner Brothers so bad? They have the biggest movies of the years. Hello, Machine Gun Weasel. We used to do it in Brazil. We do it here. Oh, okay. Hello, Walking Talking Robot. Your stream starts at my 7 p.m. Now, yeah, I wasn't sure if I wanted to just like start an hour later, but then like people are going to be confused one way or another. So I'm just going to start when the clock says 8. It doesn't... It's weird that uh, it only just got dark. Warner Bros. is losing too much money from Sweet Baby Games. Not sure about anime, but has all the movies, shows. All right, let's not openly... like Personally, I have no reservations against internet piracy. The only instance where I can think of it, like me actually having a moral compunction against it, is if you're like pirating and streaming like little indie dev games to make sure they don't get their $2. Um, that is about the only instance where I would have any sort of reservation against piracy personally. Um, but I also don't want to be like, hey, everybody, let's uh, <laughs> let's all talk about the best piracy websites, you know. Pirating indie games is scummy. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's kind of weird. Would you put pet a killer whale if given a chance? Yes, there's no reason you, you shouldn't. They have not really attacked anyone, as far as I know, unless you... It was one of the ones at SeaWorld. I wouldn't pet a killer whale at SeaWorld. But if I encountered one in the wild and it got close enough, I probably would. Pirate everything, then buy the game if I finish it. Yeah, some indie devs will say, like, pirate the game if you like it, buy it. That's a nice idea. I wonder how many people go through with that, though. <laughs> like, once you've played it... And there's not a gun to your head to actually give them money. I wonder how many people keep their end of the bargain with that sort of thing. I would pet a gator. What if killer whales just cover up the evidence of their kills? Well, I, I guess it's possible. What if the 18-year-old indie dev refuses to give me a free review copy? Well, you know, that's just terrible, man. More than you would think. I have pet gators. Hello, Heat and Milk Wang. The only games I've hypothetically pirated are the ones... With hundreds of dollars in DLC, yeah, I think the last game that I personally pirated was one of the Anno games. Because two reasons. Outrageous DLC, and you could buy it on Steam, and you had to use, like, this fucked up Uplay launcher bullshit. Like, this DRM that was way, way worse for... Like, it, it was, a, like, a classic case of our DRM does nothing to prevent... Uh, piracy but completely ruins the experience for paying customers <laughs> that's uh that, and that was old, like over a decade ago i think at this point it's been a long fucking time since i've uh torrented any games i want to pet a gator they look so cute the baby ones make like little laser gun noises hello critagonist wonder how many people have ever bought all the dlc for a sims game 
I imagine more than you think because I think one of the differences with Sims specifically is I kind of get the impression that for some people it's their forever game where they just play that one game nothing else and so they don't have any real compunction against uh, you know buying the new DLC even if it's expensive because it's the only game they ever fucking play I still would like even if I only played one game it would bother me forking over so much but I can't can't really argue against people having their one thing, right? Hello, Will Daka. Only game I've ever maybe pirated was Sims 3 and all their expansions, because fuck giving EA money for that shit. It's my birthday the other day. May I request a birthday song? Okay. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grace Happy birthday to you. Hope you had a good one. What were we talking about? I completely lost my train of thought. Piracy and The Sims. That's what we were discussing. I've never played The Sims. Isn't that crazy? I've watched my sister play a little bit of it. I think I watched Russ play a little bit of it. But I've never, like, actually played that shit myself. Um, maybe one day. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe what we need is the Tolomeo Sim stream. <laughs> I'm sure that would be epic, right? What could possibly go wrong? I, I feel like... That would be one of those games where you wouldn't expect it, but people would really want you to, like... There'd be a handful of people who would really expect you to play a certain way, like an efficient way. And, uh... They'd backseat the shit out of you for, for Sims. Cost 400 bucks to get the whole game in the Copas. You don't need all the X-Packs, bitch. I want to play the game, not half of the game. But the half I want. Hello, Kilogen. Hello, Poe. Hello, Ashtanga. Playing The Sims is how we get another Jenna. Well, it seems that a, a slot has opened for a, the Jenna position. Uh, she was devoured by dingoes in the Australian outback after protesting against Twitch's unjust banning. They found her and they fucking... They, they took her over to fucking, you know, threw her out in the, the wilderness. It's terrible. Truly terrible. I saw the video on Live Leak. I wanted to see what the hype was about. It wasn't for me. Damn, that's crazy anyways. That armadillo helmet and subjugation gown so far. Good God. Sounds like a good night for RuneScape, huh? Better download Wicked Whims? I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a good thing that her cousin Jenar has taken up the mantle. Yeah, I said mental. That was a Freudian slip. How many mods have we lost to wild dingoes now? I don't know. Ask Papadap. I have reason to believe that Papadap is the one who's reporting them and getting them thrown to the dingoes. I won't explain why it is that I suspect that it's her. But it's okay. I rescued Jenna from the dingoes and gave her to the emus. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The sex mod for the Sims. Now, why the fuck would I want that? Aren't they like... <sighs> Never mind. I think it's Mew Kooky personally. You might be right. You might be right. Yeah, I actually changed my answer to Mew Kooky. Like Mew Kooky and Castly. Ignore this advice. I keep up with the poor mod scene because some of the best source of drama to ever exist. The guy who made this put malware in his mod before to stifle competition. Well, thank you for the sex Sims mod lore update. I will be sure to keep that in mind. I think if I had to choose, I'd rather be thrown to dingoes than emus. feel like you might be able to scare the emus away. Those You can startle those fuckers pretty easily. I don't know about the dingoes, though. Sex mod actually an official Sims mod? I don't think it's official. Um, mods are not usually official, right? But I, maybe. I don't know what the fucking Sims heads are getting up to. It sounds like there's some interesting lore in the Sims community. Hello, Blusion. There's a war. There was a war against emus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Australians lost. That's the best part. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but 
I was involved in a violent incident on my way home from work today, so that was pretty cash. I'm ready for the bingo gaming. I hope you're all right. Like, what? What? I feel like I'd be a piece of shit for inquiring further, so I'm just going to say that I hope you're okay and everything's all right. The mod community for Final Fantasy XIV is the same way. Just the most unhinged people screeching at each other. Yeah, so it goes back to the, a subject that's popped up here and there over the last few months. When people... There are some people who are absolutely just, like, desperate for any form of power perceived or real. Or if some people don't believe there's a difference. Um, this can be seen even in things like Twitch moderation and small streams. You you can find, like, five viewer streams where someone they'll make the wrong person a mod. And that mod will turn their stream into, like, the uh, the mod show. And completely dominate everything and just start power tripping over like a, a fiefdom of five people. So it's not surprising at all. There was an absolutely huge drama with the B3313 mod at some point where I forget the specifics. Because honestly it seemed genuinely really fucking stupid. <laughs> like it seemed really, really dumb. But there was like a manifesto written on like parts of the modding community for super mario 64 and just just uh it seems like a lot it seems like a lot people get very territorial over that sort of shit i mean even even when i was a baby streamer you know i had a guy who was trying to like report me to twitch staff and get me banned um making lies about me dming all of my mods trying to turn them against me uh, DMing any streamer who liked me, trying to convince them that I was a terrible person over like fucking thirty views in a Bloodborne stream. <laughs> it's it's it, it. People are crazy. Uh, people are absolutely fucking insane. Hello, I eat food. Yes, sir. Not great at typing, so I'm currently shaking. But hello and big thank yous to everyone. Yeah, it's good that you only have to cancel a couple cards. People need to get hobbies. Well, that's their hobby. Like people. When you say hobbies, some people think Gundam, some people think crochet, some people think that I want to feel like the main character in my anime. Uh, I want to be like the L guy from Death Note. He's just quirky and he's like a really smart like I am and I, I want to be <laughs> I want to be the protagonist. I need that power. I need to uh, need to dominate other people mentally. It sounds like something a panda would do. It's some weird shit. I will be getting a new hobby soon. Are you going to start building Gundams? Sounds like the Mama Max, dude. That's a whole fucking thing, yeah. That's, um... That's a that's a classic case of narcissism, I think. You, you, re, you see all of these, like, videos where he's fashioning himself as, like, a hero. Like, he wants to be a hero. He even said, like, when he was a kid, he wanted to be a superhero. So... I mean, I think everybody has had thoughts like that, like grandiose thoughts at some point. That's not wrong. But, like, eventually you realize that those are just, like, like daydream fantasies and, like, there's no protagonist. Uh, if there is a protagonist, it's probably King Cobra JFS. Uh, thank you, Duckworth, for the 27-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's nice when people have the kindness to foreshadow their own downfalls. But it's also fucked because when they do that, and sometimes you, it really plays into the hypervigilance of seeing signs everywhere. And then, you know, you got to be careful because sometimes it's not a 100% science. Like, I thought for sure that guy was a piece of shit. Like, if I was a betting man, even before he got, like, revealed to be a complete terrible human being, I would have probably put money on him being at some variety of terrible human. But I didn't necessarily want that to be the case. Like, I would have eaten crow on that. I don't really... I think it's also kind of weird to be like, yeah, dudes, I hope everyone gets revealed to be, like, a secret terrible person. Like, I wish, you know, people were wrong about that stuff more often. But, regrettably, it doesn't seem to be the case. A baby? Oh, God. Congratulations, Castly. Any meat updates? He did a hot dog video today that did not end well. I guess he fucked up the hot dogs and he was really upset about it. 
This is why you don't reveal your suspicions and reveal your... Well, see, so here's the thing about it, though. Like, I think probably virtually everyone has met another human being that they just don't like. You don't really have a reason, but you just don't fucking like them. They haven't done anything to you. They haven't done anything to anyone else. Maybe it's their attitude. Maybe it's their vibe. But you just get like a like a feeling about people. And personally, when that happens to me, I hope I'm wrong. Because I don't want to be like, oh, I think this person's terrible without having a good reason. But I would never say anything until I was like certain. Because, you know, it probably is just me. It's, you know, you're nobody... People trust their gut instinct, and that is helpful a lot of the time, but the gut instinct is not the fucking, <laughs> not the oracle of the future, right? Definitely been wrong about people uh, in, in a variety of ways, so. Hello, Raw Bagel Eater. The vibe is off, sister. That shit skeeves me out, because I think I have some of the worst vibes imaginable. I, um, <laughs> I've probably been a victim to the wow this guy's vibes are off fuck this dude like so many times because i i don't think i give off like a particularly pleasant aura particularly pleasant vibes so you know gotten on the other end of it many times too there's always a chance your gut instinct is wrong yeah yeah for sure i feel like if you think these things but keep them to yourself if no one's being harmed that's okay it's way different if people start acting purely on vibes with zero evidence yeah, there was something that I read once. It was, uh, sometimes, like, okay, I'm going to say something absolutely fucking terrible. There have been times where I've seen a human being and gone, holy shit, what is that thing, dude? And that's a terrible thing. I would never say that to someone's face. Um, but... If we're really being honest, you know, sometimes you have these knee-jerk, horrible thought reactions. At least I do. And I think a lot of other people probably do. And what defines your character is what you think after your initial reaction. Like, if you have that sort of, like, really nasty thought, and you're like, wait, that's fucked up. Like, that's pretty terrible. Um, I shouldn't be thinking that way. Then the second thing you think is actually, like, what defines who you are. Be honest, I thought you were an alt-right dude at first several years ago, but you were funny, so I didn't care. And that's insane to me, because I remember the 2016 election saying, don't vote for Trump, the Supreme Court is at stake. Uh, I don't want social conservative Supreme Court <laughs> justices. I don't want religious freaks on the Supreme Court. I don't give a fuck about Trump. I don't give a fuck about Hillary. Keep these fuckers off the court. <laughs> like, I do not want... I do not want them to start, well, you know, doing what they're doing now. So the idea that people thought I was that way at any point is honestly really insane to me. Uh, I don't know. You're all right. Well, no, they didn't say that. They thought I was. And it's just because, you know people make up like this it's part of tribalism right i think some people kind of get into this idea that all people on their side are just like them and that's just not the case i feel like i i feel like i'm i'm mostly on the left but i don't feel like i fit in very well with people on the left if that makes sense i feel like my sense of humor um my general abrasive demeanor makes people think i'm like this this terribly fucking like alt-right motherfucker who wants to like ban women or something it's just not the case it's never been the case anti-left which means alt-right now just overly cautious at first because i was surrounded by them no and you're not alone in that like pretty much like the entirety of cries chat thought i was that way too and it's just you know, they'd point out such excellent examples as he uses the word bitch, which is a misogynistic slur. He must hate women. When half of the time I was calling crying a bitch. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's how it is. I don't really care. Um, people are going to project what they want onto you one way or another. It, it's just how it goes. A lot of people on the left think honestly infighting. Yeah, no, dude, like it's annoying as fuck. Um... The left, one of the awful things about the left in America is you, 
you don't even have to disagree with them on a subject. You could agree with like 99% of what they're saying. And the 1% where you disagree will be like the methodology used. And you're like a secret alt-right plant, like uh, sea lioning, <laughs> like secret racist white supremacist bull. Like it's fucking annoying as hell. It really, really fucking is. And even the Republicans are starting to do it now too with the rhino shit. I've seen I've seen uh, Mitch McConnell be called a rhino, which if you're not sure what that is, it's Republican in name only, which means they're not really a Republican. They're just cosplaying to advance the agenda of the left. I guess you know that's what that's what I think of when I think Mitch McConnell. After all. <sighs> That's what that is. Yeah. Literally one of the most Republican Republicans. Yeah. I mean, he's the... Uh, it's just there's a schism. There's like the new breed, the new generation, and the old. You know, everyone's having like... Uh, having their, their grievances with the prior generation right now. Uh, thank you, Hand the Banan, for the 11-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. His wife is on the board of my company, so every time she comes in, she makes things uncomfortable because we all hate her. Damn. What, what the fuck does this guy do? <laughs> what the fuck? I would be reluctant saying something like that, Chopsticks, uh, personally. Hello, Joelle. At this point, you don't even need to analyze someone to find out who they are. It's super obvious all the time. No, it's not because people think... My core belief is that we are getting fucked. Like, everyone... You know, I don't believe that the two parties are the same. This is not both sides are equally bad. But I do think that corporations, organized religion, government are have a, all have a vested interest in getting us to fight amongst each other for scraps. So and we're, we're really just focused on what like Zondel is doing or what Tolomeo is doing when we're being robbed blind by the uh, powers that control everything. So that's more or less, you can infer what I think from that on a lot of topics. But I, I said we're, we're not going to keep doing this politics shit. So we need, to, we need to talk about like scented candles. I like scented candles a lot. I have this deep cedar woods one. And uh, I like it even more because I think the smell is very nice. It's like you're walking in the woods but without all of the bugs biting you on your penis. And Autumn told me that the smell reminds her of me. And so now it's even better than it was before. Hello, Incromancer. I love those scents. Wood candles are the best. Yeah, I like I like uh, ones that smell like wood and ones that smell like various like like springs or rivers or oceans. Why are you walking in the woods naked? I could. You, this is a pretty easy like self tell on whether or not you've ever actually been in the woods. If you're wearing clothes, ticks, and other assorted creatures such as the chigger, will climb up whatever amount of clothing you have and bite you where the sun don't shine. It does not matter unless you're like wearing a fucking hazmat <laughs> suit. You are going to get bit. It's a pretty awful places. In fact, the chigger bites on the wiener are common enough that there's a term for it, uh, it results in a condition called lion's mane penis. I wouldn't recommend Googling that. Uh, it is not a particularly pleasant image to see, but it's it's not just me. I'm Googling it. Yeah, I mean, I warned you. I warned you. It's nasty. I mean, now I have to. Time to ruin my day. You're fine with your yard smelling like your pee? How? How? Who says my yard smells like my pee, dude? My piss is fragrant. Better or worse than Harlequin Baby? I would say better than Harlequin Baby. Harlequin Babies are some of the most awful things. And that's that's terrible to say because you're talking about a human being. But I remember like the first time I saw a Harlequin Baby when I was a teenager, it was one of the worst images. Like I, I was thinking about it for weeks. It was genuinely, like, viscerally disgusting to me and made me feel sick thinking about it. Um, now, I, I don't have the same reaction, but uh, that was one of these the most impactful things I've ever seen on the internet. And if you don't know what a Harlequin fetus is, I would... Please don't Google that. I really, like, trust me. If I'm telling you not to Google shit with the things I say on a regular basis, there is a good reason. 
Um, it is more or less a baby born without skin. Their eyes are like fucking swollen and bright red. It it's it's rough. It's really rough. One of the worst things that uh, you could be born with. I think only uh, like a handful of people survive the condition into adulthood. Google the lion mains one, but I won't Google this. That can happen. Yeah, it's ex exceedingly rare. I almost got fucked by finding out the flayed man. I still did pee on my government offices one day because I had a shit ton of beer and I wouldn't hold it for over 20 minutes. But God, does it make me uncomfortable seeing someone pee outside? Get it? Grow up, JFC. D grow up, dude. It's not the end of the world. You think our ancestors gave a shit? They probably did. They probably pissed and shit outside. Hello, doofus. How do you even survive that? I'm not sure. I think uh, eventually... I think it's not that you don't have skin. It's like it's plates of skin with huge gaps that allow infectious uh, pathogens to get in and kill you really, really easily. So I believe when you're an adult, you need to like moisturize like 20 times a day excessively. You look very... You do not look like a regular person and you have to have like the world's most intense skincare regimen that would put the TikTok makeup ladies to shame. Imagine having a baby like that in the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely could understand why someone would believe it was like a demon or something. Less nauseating news. I just finished writing chapter 26 of my book today. Hell yeah, dog. It's already fucked up before Encyclopedia Dramatica, so I just tuned out of the offense offensive page out of indifference husband brought me chicken sandwiches now showing me caracal tiktoks those are those weird cats with the ears right like the really you know you know what I, I don't know how to describe it like really long hairs at the end of the ears they look silly yeah okay okay making sure i've got my my back straight hello glitchy bug yeah, yeah, if if you can't find me online in RuneScape and want to join the clan, like, Sushi can invite, Osiris can invite. Um, I need to give everyone the ability to invite. What happens when I rub a reward lamp? You get experience. They turned some of the quest experience rewards in RuneScape into lamps so that if you didn't want to level up a skill, you, it was optional. So not all of them immediately give it to you. You have to rub the lamp to, to cash it in. I have, like, the worst fucking bug bite on my forearm, and I do not understand where it came from. So I took archaeology up. Man, I fucking love archaeology. That shit's so great. The one that pisses me off is agility. I hate feeling so groggy after a nap. I was so tired yesterday. I think, like, sleeping four to five hours a day for weeks finally caught up to me. I took a nap yesterday... And then I also slept for like 10 hours and went to bed early. Kind of strange how it took until social media analyzing your hand gestures for people to realize being a public figure slash celebrity isn't a good thing. I think it's the human nature to focus on only the benefits of a given thing and not any of the, the burdens that would be associated with it. Like a celebrity, some people think of a celebrity and it's like, oh, you're rich and famous and that's where it ends in their mind just rich and famous there's no downsides don't get me wrong i think being a celebrity would be bitching depending on the context not a child celebrity or something like that and it would depend but it cannot be fun having people stalk you trying to hack into your your devices to leak naked pictures of you people trying to have sex with you to to frame you for for bullshit like people like, imagine, you know, a normal person, right, has trouble thinking, like, damn, do my friends like me for me? Or are they just, like, with, like my fr do they just stick around for ulterior motives? Imagine how bad that feeling would be if you were, like, Tom Cruise or <laughs> someone extremely famous. Do they really like me for me or do they like me because I'm Johnny Depp sort of shit? It, it sounds honestly like a pretty isolating and lonely existence at times, but the money certainly doesn't hurt. Hello, Pearl. Convinced it's all a sex thing, otherwise people wouldn't want to be lone wolf sigmas now and get all the bitches. Tom Cruise is a dick anyways. Well, replace Tom Cruise with whoever. You you get what I'm trying to say. 
Like the the individual sided are not really part of the point. Um. Okay, well, who is, like, a media darling that everybody likes right now? Who's a celebrity that everyone just thinks is the best, and there's nothing bad about him or her? Uh, just Keanu Reeves, Bad Bunny, Dolly Parton. Yeah, just replace what I said with one of them. And, you know, I think the point still stands. Jack Black, Cryotic? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so, man. Taylor Swift... I think Taylor Swift is far from universally loved. I think her demographic loves her. But there are people who get pretty... Like, I've seen people say that there's, like, conspiracy theories about Taylor Swift being a man. Or I saw one where it's like, imagine being this football guy and coming home and these are the cheeks you clap. And it's like a picture of Taylor Swift's ass. And it's got, like a like, a level on it showing how flat it is. So I don't think she's universally beloved. I think she's extraordinarily inoffensive, and I don't know why the fuck you would be upset at Taylor Swift over over virtually anyone else. But people, there are a significant amount of people who don't like her. She's a government psyop. Yeah, she's a conspiracy. Thank you, Swift Darkness, for the 80-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Just don't care about Tate. No, I'm with you, dude. I the only the only instance in which I care is when it's being discussed is like her being a CIA or like letter agency plant. I think that shit is funny, but her music, eh, I don't know. Uh, not my thing. Taylor Swift is a lizard person, and she's part of the high secret society of lizard people. The people saying shit like I would never date her or funny because like damn too bad she had yeah yeah that's true or or it's like she's just with this football guy for his football salary <laughs> she's just you know these gold diggers am I right hello bread Coco people are upset at T Swift because she organized people to vote and is supportive of them so right leaning people target her more people that become Taylor haters the more I like her. I'm also kind of that variety of contrarian, too. I wanted to play Helldivers more. And I know Helldivers is not a person. But uh, people on Reddit were complaining so badly about their crutch weapon getting nerfed that I'm like, damn. I kind of want to play this now to see uh, how valid these complaints were. And then the devs started insulting their player base. I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to play this more now. And people acted like... The devs went and, like, fucking sent out, like, gallons of vitriolic slurs. But they, I think what I saw is they called a strategy brain dead and said that uh, they like it when people, like, they're bathing in their, like, the complaints or the tears or whatever. I think that that is a really weird thing to get upset about personally. Yes, I understand that if you were in a in like a corporate job and said something like that, you would probably get the boot. Um, but I, you know, I was thinking about it like it, I would have the same reaction if I went to Home Depot and some old fucker was being rude to an employee and they just told him to like jump off of a bridge. I think I would become American in that moment. I think I would be an Americlap. I think I would start fucking clapping. Like, I don't know how long... Like, yes, I understand, you know, it's a professionalism thing. Yes, I understand as a company, you want someone who's just a golem who responds with PR answers all of the time. I am not ignorant to that fact at all. But you got to wonder, like, how long are we going to, like, structure the world around the most terrible, annoying people imaginable until we realize that it only makes them worse? Acquiescing to these terrible humans who abuse service employees of any variety just emboldens them and makes them do it more. <laughs> like, how fucking long are we just gonna let... Like, it's like the worst example of, like, catering to the lowest common denominator I can think of. Do I have permission to tell the HR bitch it might... No, you don't. You'll probably get fired. I'm just saying it shouldn't be that way, and I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be like, oh, those poor, those poor internet redditors are getting bullied by the devs. Boohoo! <laughs> like it's just never gonna happen. It takes time, and it becomes a ticking time bomb until people just go, I don't care anymore. Fuck you. Predators bullied. Yeah, I'm sorry. They said the railgun was brain dead. I, you must not be able to sleep at night. 
It's the reason I work in manufacturing and can't possibly deal with stupid Karens and bitch about things I would have no control over. Yeah, um... And instead of punishing people for acting terrible, you know, a lot of the times they get comp for shit, they get free stuff, they get special treatment, and it's only going to get worse and worse. Local restaurant manager will defend her workers, my neighbor. Yeah, there are some places, there are some places where the managers are on, on the ball and they won't, they don't, they're not going to let their employees go and like verbally abuse customers. But if someone's being actually unfair, they will step in and do something. But I, from what I understand, that's pretty infrequent. Customer's not always right. Funny thing is that the railgun still seems great after the nerf. So what, I'm not an expert hell diver, but my understanding of that particular change was the safe mode that was reliable and easy to use got nerfed. But if you use the unsafe version, it's basically every bit as good as it was before. But you actually have to pay attention to get the results now. And it's not just like a free I win button. Um, I am not high enough to use the rail gun. So I can't, I can't personally, um, <laughs> you know, testify one way or another. Think so, or at least like 90% is good. I've had multiple parents try to bully me and especially schedule them onto a full PT schedule just because their kid is a national athlete. Can't punch through the front door, the front of heavy armor as easily before as before, as far as I can tell. But that felt pretty cheesy. Unsafe is still weaker than the only safe mode, but it's still good. Oh no, engaging mechanics. Whatever will they do? It's a little weaker overall, but now you can have your teammates shake their head at you when you blow yourself up because you overcharged. Better for me since it forces me to aim and thus get headshot bonuses and shit. Yeah, I feel like adding mechanics like that just make it more satisfying to play, right? Hello, Silver Millennium. Hello, Moon Watching. I treat people how I would treat you. Don't come up and attack me because you had a bad day if I ever... You've attacked me before, dog. Come on. I know you're just joking around in this banter, but I... Come on, brother. If I ever had a day where I was in a mood, I tell people, listen, don't fuck around with me today. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. You just got to say, hey, dog, I'm like, I'm, I'm stressed, bro. Don't, don't fucking say shit. Meta dorks ruin basically... No, yeah, we talked about this extensively before. I think we need to hammer in that playing games without watching YouTube videos on what the best strat is should be a more commonly adopted practice. I'm just an inch away from beating the Securate. This fight is unnecessarily draining my sanity. You've got this, Visku. You made it this far. There's no reason you can't go all the way. Hello, Jiggly. That is what ruins the fun. I don't know if I would go that far. There are some people who just like want to use the meta. That's the way they want to play, and that's fine. The problem is when they try to be, like, meta-police and enforce it as, like, Sharia law and everybody else, right? Just don't have the patience to play with people who are being mean. You know, that's such a, like, juvenile way of putting it. Like, oh, no, people are being mean to me, but I agree 100%. Um, you know, as you get older and you have more responsibilities, more relationships of value... You have a finite amount of energy and time to give to, like, your wife or, you know, if you have kids, your kids. And you just realize you don't have time to spend with people who are just, like, insulting you over stupid shit. So I agree with you 100%, JFC. Meanies get the death penalty? Yeah, don't be mean to me. It's one thing if it's friendly banter, but people who are, like, getting mad and yelling over a video game. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Can't wait for all the shitty Dragon's Dogma 2 videos about their OP builds. For example, in MOBAs, you see the same roster of picks every game. And when you play hundreds of games, it feels really boring just play against the same shit every game. Is it bingo time? Yes. Hate asking for advice online on how to best play a certain character or weapon. And the response you get is, don't play it. It's bad. Who's bullying? Nobody's bullying me. Everybody loves me. You know, I'm, I'm the golden child of the internet. People only have good and kind things to say about me. Um... You just, you, the golden boy, a cherub. I'm bullying you. Nah. Oh, well. But yeah, I, I think that for me with games, I like to play it through on my own. And then after I've like had my fill, I, uh, I'm okay to look up everything. Cause I'm not going to figure out everything for, for every fucking game or any game really. But I want to at least give it the old college try. Got to uh, 
try to figure everything you can on your own out first before you start being fed like the baby bird. Because I don't know, like the quickest way for me to lose interest is if like I get recruited to play a multiplayer game and I have to go through like a mandatory tutorial for like 30 fucking minutes, you know, oh, now you have to get all this shit and you get it set up. And then it's like, okay, so let me explain everything in the game to you and what the best shit is and like what all the enemy. No, dude, <laughs> like, shut up. Let's play the game. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let's go, dude. Like, please just stop. Can we can we experience the fucking game? What's annoying is when you find something you really like and it works well for you, and then it becomes the meta and people complain that you're just using the meta, then an update happens and someone, something else is the meta and people complain that you aren't using the meta. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That happened to me frequently in League of Legends. Ah, tutorials, keck. I fucking hate unskippable tutorials. I want to I wanna be like DSP. I want to be blind, naked, and afraid, and not understand anything. The difference is DSP has the right idea, but he approaches it the wrong way because he blames the game for being bad when he doesn't pay attention. But I think if he didn't do that, he would actually have the right approach with a lot of games. Which I guess is like saying if they weren't a molester, they would have the right approach to sex, which is kind of a ridiculous statement. But, uh, yeah. Hello, monkey flings poo. DSP just retired from Tekken 8. Did he retire on the top? Was he was he raw dogging everybody? Hello, Truby. I enjoy playing non-meta to piss off the meta people. I just want people to leave me the fuck alone. Like, I don't care if you play the meta. I'm not going to tell you how to play, so just let me play. Um, unless the only exception is if I'm like objectively doing things that ruin the experience of everyone else. And yeah, you can tell me that I'm doing that. I think that's fair. But if I'm like not a passenger and actually doing things, you need to shut the hell up. He was getting counter hit a lot when he wasn't hitting buttons. <laughs> he retired on Tenryu, which is below purple rank. Get what? It, yes, I, I get it. Slan. I get it. You know, I didn't do that. <laughs> it's good to know that as much as the world changes around us as fucked as things get dsp will be an everlasting unchanging monolith you know the entire world can change and dsp will be there completely unhindered the same as he's ever been and there's a beauty to that i think anecdotally are those people even good the meta enforcers or are they average players so, in my opinion, as it pertains to PvE games, it it's really hard to tell, and it also doesn't matter that much. Um, because there's definitely an argument to be made of taking someone who's, like, mediocre and elevating their perceived level of skill if they start using the OP shit, and then if you take it away, they're just bad. Um... There, you've got people who are genuinely really good who just want to strive to be the absolute best and will only use meta stuff because of that, who will carry every game. Um, I think that in a game like Helldivers, like I said, I'm not an expert on this game by any means. I've played 10 hours total in a, in a titanic amount. My perception is that it's... If you actually play like a human being and cooperate with your team, you're always going to be more than the sum of your parts to the point where individual skill does not seem to matter as much as you would think if everyone's on the same page. Of course, there's skill expression. Of course, people are going to be better than others. But the number one thing you can do to be skillful in that game is to work around the team. Um, for example, when you're fighting the robot faction, there's this fucking mech that basically is just like near unkillable from the front. You can kill it with like the rail gun and some other methods like the flamethrower. If you've got like standard arms, you are going to have a nightmare trying to get through. And it's got like this glowy spot on the back where you just shoot it a couple times and it's fucking done. And if you just have two people communicate, those things are no problem at all. But if you're trying to be Rambo and kill everything yourself, you might ha you will have like 10 times more difficulty with those fucking things than you would otherwise. Or like how Bruneerth, I was playing with Bruneerth, and 
his most hated enemy are these little assholes with chainsaws who run up on you because he used primarily long range, slow reload. And I'm like, dog, you need to be like, hey, Tolomeo, you fucking idiot. Get over here and kill these guys because I have no problems with that enemy at all because I'm using like shotguns and shit. So like basically TLDR is even if you're like really not that good at that sort of game, I think if you're a good team player, you can make it work. Um, obviously being better will get you better results, but, uh, you would have better results with four mediocre people working together than four, like, uh, above average people doing the lone wolf shit. Uh, thank you, Neko, yourself for the tier three resub of 50 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Tolomeo gold subscription. I'm dying. Are you sick, dude? What do you mean you're dying? Definitely, and that's what I think it's important to have it that way in that kind of game. I think those games are way more satisfying when you actually are, like, really rewarded for teamwork instead of just, like, four people, like, playing together but not with each other. <laughs> if that makes sense. Hello, Phil T. Weeb. Wow, it's been an hour already. Maybe we should play the video games. And maybe I should quit yammering and we can start this bingo bullshit, huh? Let me see what I've got today. I think today I my initial impression that I've got is that I've got a good a good set of games today, but we'll see. Well, you know, you never really can tell. You know, it's it's hard to know as a matter of fact until you're in it. Some misleading info and in some of the guns. I wish they fixed them. Like slugger shotgun can kill medium armor, but it says light armor penetration in the menu. Heck yeah, we backseat gaming. Trying to be a Rambo in Helldivers does not end well. Okay, I am going to go piss. Is Furry Cyberfucker finally on? No, I'm not playing Furry Cyberfucker unless I'm forced to with Bingo. I don't want to be a Furry Cyberfucker. Soda, please? All right, all right. I wasn't going downstairs, but I guess I will for you. I guess I will for you. Oh, one day Twitch is going to make us start issuing bans for that. Yeah, you got to be careful with posting this ASCII stuff because you're not safe to make jokes on Twitch, even if you've been subbed for like 60 fucking years and are a moderator in the channel. <laughs> so you got to be careful. Shit post at your own risk. Hello, Kurt. Wonder if someday I'll just be able to put an exe file on chat GPT and it will make up a meta build guide for you on the spot. 
I fucking hope not. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Okay, so thanks for playing this game with us, bro. We have this chat GPT guide we're going to need you to read before, before we're going to play with you, dude. <sighs> People get really into that shit. Uh, I think one of the... I think the funniest thing I have heard someone say this year, and that probably will not change. Thank you, Ashlyn, for the 68-month resub. I appreciate it. With the Mama Max stuff, like, one of the other YouTubers was like, what, what, what does your lawyer say? And they said, Chat GPT is my lawyer. And <laughs> Chat GPT knows the legal system. I don't need a lawyer. I have Chat GPT. You know, we're doing these, these vigilante, uh, like, pedo stings with Chat GPT, dude. One of the most unhinged things I think I've ever fucking heard in my life. Uh, like, holy shit. Good God almighty. Okay. I need to remember what these games are. Oh, oh God. I have so many fucking games to play. There's no way I'm going to get through all of these today. So are we feeling like, uh... Do we want some slop? Do we want something that has at least a chance of being quality content? Do you, like, uh... Are we going... Play something gay, a chance, slop, always slop. Hope I get a Mario game in honor. Oh, play some slop, play something straight. Okay, okay, this looks like slop to me. This is called Baki. Gotta fill through the week with the slop. I also fixed my AC again. It's not killed after all. Hello, magnet. Baki, no, 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 it's like a Boki. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think the game will probably tell me. There's There doesn't appear to be any audio on the menu, so I'm not going to be able to tell you. Like, We're just going to have to go in and see what the volume's like, I guess. Waiting for a game that will force me out of the closet. What would that game look like? What What kind of game would force someone out of the closet? Just noticed the bingo was updated recently. Yeah, Sky Beast updates it a decent amount. Works pretty hard on it. Big ups. Sissy Hypno VN. Hello, Waka. We're not doing Sissy Hypno. More Super Mario 64 would for... Okay, so I don't want to force anyone to do anything, so... Baki is a chilling mascot horror game set in a kindergarten... And school where a dark secret lies beneath a toys factory run by the school's director. The once friendly Boki toys are now malevolent and roaming free as a detective explore the eerie school, solve puzzles, and confront haunted toys to unravel. Sinister mysteries hidden within the shadows. Brace yourself for a short, intense adventure where reality and nightmare collide in Boki. I thank you, Rat Muncher, for the tier two resub of 99 months. I appreciate it. Hello, Sozo. Yeah, we're, this is going to be a winner, right? Mascot horror. Dude. Nah, nah, nah. You can't hit me with the Resident Sleeper. The last mascot horror game we played was actually really fucking cool. That, uh, what, what, the, the one with the pee pee frog thing that we all thought was gonna be stupid. And it was actually the opposite of stupid. But this one, I don't know. Muzi, yeah, that one. Remember to stay safe. Okay. Sire Max is play. Oh, god damn it. I wish I was there to see it. Alright, does everything look and sound okay? Can you hear the, the footsteps? Hello, Doctavius. We gotta find that phone. Is it... Are you gonna make me sit here and, like, figure out how to open a door? With a fucking phone? Okay, okay, okay. So, I guess we gotta turn this on. What do I need to do with the VCR? It's been it's been a couple decades. I guess I, I probably have to find a tape, huh? Bold of me to assume that one would just be inside. Okay, so let's take a... Come here. Come here, you little fucker. Make sure it's facing the right way. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure we rewind it and everything. So, eject, rewind, fast forward, VHS tape. Okay, so you just hit this to insert it, but, uh. Ah. 
Mm. Can I, uh, you want to let me, uh, I think it's off. Press the power button a couple times. Do I have to find the, uh, oh, no, you, no, you're right, you're right. You're absolutely right. That was my mistake. I thought the play button was the power button. I am a fool. Okay, so now we need to rewind. Actually, I think it should just be okay. It would have been really funny if we had to rewind it. Wait. It was like orange, green, white. loud hold on I can't hear anything I think you're lying to me okay McDonald's had a farm turn that shit up let me know how the volume is now it should be a little bit better Got to make sure it's it's calibrated correctly because you know something's going to scream at us while it's eating our asshole. Gooning level audio. I was thinking about gooning today and why people do it. It's just such a bizarre thing to me. Let's figure out what it is I have to do today. Hold on. Turn this shit on. Uh-oh. Okay, there's... Jeez. Monsters. They're loose. They're heading for the school. The toys you thought were harmless. They're not. They're free, and they're on their way to the school right now. You need to get out of there. Gooning just jerking that shit. No, I think gooning is like like edging almost, but even more intense. They're just sitting there gooning all fucking day. Right? I don't think it's just like sitting there just popping one out. I think he's just sitting there, like, repeatedly masturbating, repeatedly edging, like, going super, super saiyan jelk. Just beating it all day. I think weird edgers took gooning from the weird gooners. Obsession, obsessively going at it with porn. You should turn on all the four switches. Okay. Masturbation is a hobby. Can you get stuff for it at Hobby Lobby? That's what defines what a hobby is, right? Can you get jelking fluid there? I know they have super glue, but I don't know if that's going to be good for it. Sorry for the curse. No, you actually, you can post the curse of Raw as much as you want, because I'm actually immune now. I became a, a, uh, a Raw man in Undertale too, which means I'm, I'm immune to the curse of Raw. So how do I, how do I pick shit up? This music's gonna drive me crazy if I don't figure this out. Can I just... Oh, oh. I have to... I can only grab certain objects though. It looks like only those little crates. Damn, I wish I had a flashlight. It's kind of fucking dark in here. Also, wait a second. Hold on. Is it me? Or are these really, really fucking low to the ground? Like, even if you were a... I don't know. Maybe I'm just not familiar enough with, like, preschool, kindergarten, whatever the fuck this is. For the small people? Even for, like, like little babies, though, that seems low. You need a key in the secret room in the playground area. Okay. All right, let's find that motherfucking phone. Oh, oh. Is that, like, to denote that the monster's about to come beat my ass? Is that what that ringing is? This is apparently a safe place because it has, like, YouTube advertisement music in the background. I really can't pick any of this shit up. What if I, like... That's a dangerous game. Like, part of me is thinking, like, what if I throw it, 
to block the door, but what if I throw it too far and then I... Oh, shit. Okay. It's here. I can barely see it. There should just be one more. Three's usually the magic number in video games, and I was really, really, really hoping that that was not going to loop. Like, this is the kind of music you hear before they, li they lay out, like, a fucking laundry list of terrible side effects for pharmaceuticals. It's insane to me that that's, like, an unknown thing in, in Europe. Just random fucking commercials for, for prescription medication. Hello? May cause internal hemorrhaging? Yeah. May cause sudden death. And it's like... Just the most asinine kind of... Oh, hold on. Don't make noise and stay safe. Okay. So we gotta be stealthy. But love testicular balding? Yeah? Yeah. Can I close that door? Okay. He's just chilling in there. Alright. I need to find that last box, brothers. If you see the box, you can tell me. You can help me with this shit if you're so inclined. I'm not gonna get upset if you try to, like, steer me in the right direction for fucking, like, Bogo's Binted 72. Honestly, can't see shit. Yeah, I'm guessing it's somewhere outside of that area that I gotta find, but, uh, maybe not. Just gotta use my eyeballs. Was there something in here? It'd be great if I had, like... Well, I wasn't thinking cabinet underscore two underscore door underscore R. I don't think every anyone's ever thought that having one of those would be useful. I was more thinking, like, flashlight. Can I change the... Okay. Turning into some Five Nights at Fetty shit, huh? Okay, well, I need to keep that in mind for the future. I'm sure that will end up being useful in some way. Hello, Vincent. Think you're out of luck? Yeah, no, I figured. It's not a big deal. What is Diango's item retrieval? It means, like, certain things you can destroy and just get back from him. If it shows up in the bank, you can literally just, like, click on it in his little tab and it just goes to your bank. Nobody's ever taken to Lomeo R, dude. Hello, Igrizar. Move the option to sub with Prime. I don't think so. I think people would be, like, really upset if that happened. I've seen at least one switch on a wall. Hmm. Then I must be on drugs. It, it's got to be in that little playroom. I, I must just simply be blind. It is a skill issue. Is this the new ban ban? I think it's trying to be. Is that it in the fucking corner? Fuck you! Suck my dick! What an asshole! Fucking eagle eyes over here. Good god, I I could have I could have missed that really easily. All right. Uh oh. What are we playing Mario Kart now? Bucky is coming, huh? That's how you pronounce it. Warning. Bucky is coming. Hold on, I can turn I can turn up the brightness. Give me a sec. Warning. Warning. Bucky is coming. There, that should be I don't have the brightness improvements, so you'll be able to see better than me, but uh Bucky is coming. It should make it a little bit easier on the eyes for you guys. Hello, Skiwi. 
Is ad block immoral? I don't think so. I use ad block. I think that people who get up in arms about the usage of ad block are very strange. You got a dumb mount from the retrieval guy? Fuck yeah. Is this the first game of the night? It is. Would have been a million times easier to find the block. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, it, it would seem that... Closing that door was me fucking myself. That, that didn't seem to be the play at all. I'd probably have to start all the way from the beginning. Yep. Sure as shit. Okay, okay. Well... That's okay, I know what to do now. This will be easy as fuck. Demos without saves, woohoo. He didn't punch you to death. I, I mean, was he just sets a standard for quality that is seldom found anywhere else? Alright, now I have to flip the other switches. I maybe shouldn't have done this one first, but I think it's okay. Warning. Warning. Baki is coming. Baki Warning. is coming. Warning. Baki, Baki is, is coming. coming. Warning. Where's Warning. the other switch at? Baki is coming. I think that I found three prior to uh, coming come to that little area. Why does he just sit there like some sort of weird sex offender? Okay. We did it, everybody. We're in the safe place now. So... Now, how's this going to go from here? Is he just going to be wandering around from this point forward? Probably, huh? Alright, we got to be very, very quiet. Is Count as a maze? No, this is a pretty normal floor plan, all things considered. I wouldn't... I would hope none of you would get lost in this place. Are we really safe? Are we ever safe? Okay, so... We can look at this and see where he is, maybe. Oh, look at him, dude. Holy shit, those cheeks! Got a bakery back there? So I guess that... I don't know what that one's about, then. That's how I walk after leg day. Bro built like a sun bear? Don't talk shit about sun bears. Those fuckers are awesome, dude. I think this is the door that I'm in. I should probably exit. Hide behind the couch? I don't think he's gonna let me do that, playa. I don't think he's gonna come into the CCTV room. Daycare have a homicidal bear anyway with a built-in alarm? Because there's a toy factory deep underground in the kindergarten. And I guess the toys that were meant to be friendly are actually not friendly at all. Who could have seen this coming? It's just utterly inconceivable. So, uh... Damn, that's crazy? Yeah. Yeah. And before souls and the robots? I mean... You think they would be derivative like that? Yeah. There's one switch I haven't found. 
I think in the first playthrough I, I found it, but I don't recall where it was. Is that a rhetorical question? Figure it out, dude. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so... What's his aggro radius like? Okay. It's not as big as I, I expected. I feel like now I have more empathy for women. Hmm. Can you fucking move, asshole? No, he's just camping. Why are you guys making that fucking face at me? Do women have a short aggro radius? Sometimes. Oh my god, stop using these judgmental animals against me, man. You know how it makes me feel when you fucking do that? Is this... There's no way that's like the, the switch I have to get, right? I don't remember if they're supposed to be up or down. Okay, turn on all the switches, all right. What was their initial state? I think up then, because I'm pretty sure I got that. <laughs> Most judgmental animal. Is this what to, hold on. Oh yeah, it, you're right, you're right. That's weird, I feel like there aren't a lot of instances of like pulling the lever up. But maybe I'm just getting confused. I'm just a just a poor little Texan boy. We gotta find this last one. It's time to stop pussyfooting around everywhere. Was it in here? Did I miss it because it was in here somewhere? I must have to go in the direction where he initially came from. Like I guess the strategy was to get me out here, have him chase me. Now he's a threat. I have to sneak by to get to his origination point. I thank you, Avin, for the 70-month resub. I appreciate it. I don't hear his his very heavy and, and manly footsteps. Okay. Gotta wait. What's behind you? Oh, he's a friend. Don't worry. Smash or pass that thing? No, that ain't for me. That seems like something Undertale people would really like, though. He scared the shit out of me. He's, he's just a friend. I think we need to be going so slow now. All right. Truly, I am a brilliant genius. Lever in the hallway was down. Hold up. Hello, Chovy. Okay, we, we might have it. We might have it. I think I just got to make it to the door now, right? Easy peasy. This is a get smashed moment personally. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck off. You're a coward if you wouldn't top the robot murder bear. I don't know, man. I just don't agree. I I wasn't sure what was happening there. Uh-oh. I'm happy because you reached this point in the demo. I hope you like the game and wait for the full game coming soon. Don't forget to follow the developer's social accounts for the news. Gonna sign up and make a Facebook to follow Aman Jabari. Alrighty. That was bulky, everybody. 
So this is what they call gooning. I guess so. Um, I'm just going to start picking these. There's, I, ha I downloaded too many and there's choice paralysis. I don't know if this one's going to be good. No, this one's going to be fucking terrible. I just realized which one this was. Guess what, everybody? You know who this is from? <laughs> this is from uh, 333 Games or whatever the fuck his name was. The Raphael Imposter. This is the last scream. So we can expect that there's going to be taking uh, laundry out of the washing machine. Someone's going to knock on our door. You know, uh, probably going to be virtually identical to the other games of his we've played. But let's see. Let's give it a chance. The strong start. Okay. I, um... Am I supposed to be able to move? I see you, Jack. I cannot move if I, if I am allowed to. Virus installation complete? Yeah. Yep, I downloaded up some, some Bitcoin. How do you know that? Surely a joke. I will continue watching TV. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're watching television. I mean, yeah. Truly incredible. Truly incredible. How does he win every single time? Okay. Really cool game. I, I wasn't sure if it was actually just going to be it. Like, I thought there was a, a, a decent chance that that was just the end of the game. But that was just the intro. Thank you, Poseidon, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, man. Okay. So, I'm not sure what it is exactly I'm supposed to be interacting with here. So, it's just... uh. Wow, my phone is, is dog shit. Yeah, I don't blame you so, Zoe. It could have been. Based off of the other games from this dev. Uh, oh, you know, here's the same fucking shower. Same fucking washing machines. Uh, I think we might uh, be in for more of the same here with this one, guys. Surprising, I know. But, uh... But a dog... Why can't I fucking interact with anything? Yes, Chovy. It sure is. It's the Raphael imposter who makes a game about people knocking on your door and attacking you while you're emptying the, emptying the washing machine. This guy, I think, has never seen the inside of a house before. What makes you say that? Holy fuck, look at my sick-ass garage. We have a garage now? Okay, he's he's making big money moves. Shit. That was unexpected. Oh fuck. Hello hello officer. Hello sir officer, what happened? Hello lady, I'm here to ask you some questions. Why? You didn't know there was a murder in this neighborhood? It really is the same fucking game, huh? I don't know anything. I moved here a few days ago. I don't have time. I'll ask you questions. Were you in contact with Jack? I told you I just moved. No. Did you leave your house last night? I didn't leave my house yesterday, sir. Well, that was all. Try to make sure everything is closed properly, like this door or the garage. Okay, I will be attentive. Goodbye, sir, officer. <laughs> there he goes! Ma'am, defund the fucking police. Like, they have enough money to get these fucking, like, hover ice skates. And we're out here starving, dude. A murderer... 
He was wearing Heelys? God damn it. The world would be a better place if, if police officers had to wear Heelys, honestly. Wouldn't it be really sad if 333 Games was Rapha a Raphael stan and inspired him and Raphael insulted his creativity? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, dog. Like, what creativity? How many... How many times can someone make the exact same game over and over until you stop giving them the benefit of the doubt? Like, the first time he made a game like this, yeah, sure. You know, it's your first game. Get it. Vetus? Well, Vetus is different. Sometimes, like, his games are about, like, slimy halls of depression. Sometimes there's slimy halls of, like, Christmas depression. There's variety there. I'm not seeing the variety. They need, like, a Christmas tree in the corner or something. With soup, too? That's true. This is some excellent television, I gotta say. Decent creativity compared to this schmuck. Only devs to make a horror Easter game. Yeah, Vetus tries. Well, that was a really good, v very good movie. Very good, yeah. Yes. Holy fuck, amazing. Do you like analog horror? Sometimes. What a great movie The Last Call is, right? How do you know that and who are you? A little friend, Emily. It's a gnome. He, this dev? You, you, you were surely the murderer. If you keep writing, I will call the police. He can redeem himself now by making the killer a literal gnome. It was a joke. Calm down. No need to call the police. That's what I thought. Just phone pranks. I just want to tell you that time is ticking, Emily. What are you talking about? I'm going to cook. I'm very hungry. Watch the Mandela catalog? Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. There are good parts, but I think there's like an equal amount of silly parts. Now let's eat. Okay, that kind of looks good. You got the egg, you got the ramen noodles. What delicious food. Just gulp or eel, eat it in one bite. Does it for indie game food? Yes. Yes, it does. Is the trash friggin' bleeding, is it? I'm gonna throw out the trash. Okay, where do I put this? Where the hell does this go? Do I have to go outside for this shit? Final Fantasy 15 food makes you want to masturbate. One of the funniest videos I've ever fucking seen was DSP did a food review of, like, shrimp Maruchan noodles or some bullshit. I don't remember the brand. But he saw, like, a billboard in Final Fantasy 15 of, like, these shrimp noodles. And he's like, wow, there aren't even, like, shrimp in here. What the fuck, dude? And he got really mad. <laughs> I don't know. I just... It's a lot less interesting when I lay it out. Uh-oh say it but it i swear dude it was gold it was truly incredible so who do you think that that guy is i'm just standing there like some sort of freak that's not oh, fuck you no dude this door sucks okay so let's see what happened upstairs. Hello? Someone shitting an oil drum? That is... Is that what that sounds like? So maybe... Got a little bit of a blindness issue, but I'm not a... This has to be a joke. I was actually thinking the same thing. Wow, this game can read minds. So let's see who's out there. Maybe we should not open the door for them. Okay, chat, Do you? what do you think we should do in this situation? I'm pretty sure this is the guy who was the killer like the last three times. 
So I think maybe he's he's not on our side. It's a RuneScape bot, kind of like an elderly one, but. He seems chill, not opening the doors. Rudy looks honest and trustworthy. All right, he kind of, hey. Hello, sir, what are you doing at this time? Uh-oh. Sir, I'm not up for jokes at this hour. It's invading my bedtime. Yes, go to sleep, miss. What's the matter? Have you had alcohol or something like that? Goodbye. Have a good night, alcoholic. <laughs> I hate it when those fucking drunks do that. Every fucking Saturday, dude. I swear to Christ. I'm gonna... Dude, I'm going to sleep. This All this makes me very tired. The whole town's got Heelys. How is this something an amateur at The Sims would make? You think so? All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, tuck into Betty by. Would this game count? I think that was a scream. What had happened? That sounded like a scream of a sexual nature, though. Hello, I discovered the killer. If something happens, go under the bed. Oh shit, I'm gonna repair it in the grage. What kind of bougie ass neighborhood has a grage? Is that like a foyer? Shit! No, close the fucking door. Close it. <laughs> Fuck you, Dr. Phil! Alright, well, you know. I should have I should have been cooperative to help him help me. So, that was my fault. It was unfortunate, but there's not a lot you can do. Game crash? Yeah, the game closed on its own, so... Okay. You should have listened to the police? I don't trust the police, dude. I thought the police had a good chance of, of being the perpetrator. You know, I, I was thinking there's no way he's going to use the same model for the killer four games in a row. Like, that's just... It, that's amateur... It's amateur week. Forget amateur hour. I thought you were a god gamer. So in those games, it's almost always more funny to die than to actually survive. So, uh, what do you think this game's about, gang? Maybe it's a series? Yeah, yeah, we're just getting owned over and over again. This is Don't Pee, everybody. Why the fuck is this music so real? is customized to oh oh okay so all right forget dragon's dogma this is what i'm about baby all right we should probably turn the music down a little bit huh No, louder. All right. You don't know if it's a fetish game yet. I shouldn't have drank that fifth beer. I gotta go. We've all been here. I'm surprised it has voice acting. Okay, okay. This is gonna be like Neko Muse Potty Trouble, except excellent in quality. This will help. Can't see anything. That scared the fuck out of me. Okay, yeah. Dude, I, I get that with, like... You ever have to go to the bathroom really bad, but not piss, and it feel you get, like, this severe, sharp pain in a certain area? Hello, Misa. What's up? It's, like, it, it's rough, dude. Oh, 
A nice clean hammer ought to do the trick. What the f- Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold up. Oh, no. Not now. Not now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, there's a si- These chains are gonna stop me. What on God? No, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ugh. Shit. I, I- Okay, so I've gotta find, like, a way to- Wait, what the fuck? What is my house? Where am I, dude? Am I in, like, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon? Okay, we need a hammer. We need a key. Or, or something to defeat chains. There's a code door over here. I don't know the code. Can I can I leave? Please? Please? Alright. I'm soft locked. I have to restart. My character's walking, but my camera's stuck. Okay. What if it's six one five five for piss? Uh, that would I be drank that fifth beer. I gotta Wait. go. Probably got at least two McChickens for this. Dude. Chicken sandwich sounds really fucking good right now. Definitely fuck one up. Help. Can't see anything. Guy's cooler than I'll ever be. Does this count as toilet Not humor? Again. I would say so. Not again. Wait! Fine. I can make it to the downstairs bathroom. I didn't even go in here at first. Holy shit. Okay. This is gonna be like viral marketing for Skibbity Toilet, isn't it? Oh, also, speaking of which, this is a sick-ass dinosaur. Uh, uh, not now! Not now! I'm about to shit myself. Okay. Looking for items, looking for goodies. I don't see anything worthwhile in here. <laughs> Does the pee not count as dancing? No, dude. My flashlight's fucked. I don't even have a kid. Where did this room come from? What? Oh, I have to fucking, like... I see. I see. You gotta, like, tap the shit out of the flashlight. We got mechanics, dude. Ah, the old crafting table. We had some good memories. Oh my god. I I can make a toilet here. What? Okay, we got- alright, alright, alright. So, what would you use realistically to craft a toilet? Like, hypothetically. I need to find a job. <laughs> I think if you can craft toilets, you've got a pretty solid skill set. I don't think I found any items that I could just, like, pick up and, and use, though, is the problem. I feel like this is going to be one of the things where I've got to find, like, one key or, or, you know, a hammer for the boards, and then it's all going to fall into place. The boards are back. A nice, clean hammer ought to do the trick. No! Okay. Jesus Christ. That's what people who pee outside live like? No. Just ignore that door. It's a trap for now. Just breaking news, we've got another TV with a... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Little black sheep. So what made that noise? Also, please. You can't just put a fucking singing Billy Bass in the game and not have it sing. Let me turn this up. Um... No! Come on. Good evening, I'm Alex Sargo, and this is City News at 6. Our top story tonight. Another zombie outbreak has occurred Lunar in the Turtles. downtown area. This marks the fourth such event this year, but city officials assure us that the situation is, as always, under control. Okay. We'll go to our correspondent, William Falco, who's on the scene now. Thank you, Alex. I'm here at the edge of the quarantine zone where the uh, latest zombie outbreak is Not now. Not As now. you can see behind me, the affected area has been completely quarantined off by authorities. 
The outbreak, which began early this morning, has been contained to a three-block radius in the downtown district. The Rapid Response Undead Unit, or RRUU, was on the scene within minutes of the first report. Their swift action has been instrumental in preventing the spread of the outbreak beyond these few blocks. The RRUU is using their standard protocol, which includes tranquilizing and capturing... <laughs> Fuck, dude. Come on. Center ...for the undead. Their scientists continue to work on understanding and potentially curing this condition. Each outbreak gives us more data to analyze. We are learning how this event start and more importantly, how we can prevent them in the future. Our ultimate goal is, of course, to find a cure. The city has issued a reminder for residents to stay clear of the quarantine zone and to report any suspicious activity immediately. Okay. We've also we uh, uh, the public that uh, uh, the uh, 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 this week will still go ahead next month with additional safety measures in place. Thanks, William. In related news, the city no. council has approved additional funding for the RRUU and the Rehabilitation and Research Center. This decision comes after a recent survey showed increased public support for zombie research and management. This According has to, to be survey, important, 68 right? Sixty-eight percent of residents now support increased okay. funding for zombie containment and research, a fifteen percent increase from last year. Coming up after the break, no, we'll have an exclusive not interview now, with Mayor Johnson about the city's ongoing efforts to improve zombie safety protocols and the upcoming Zombie Awareness Week. Plus, a look at how local businesses are adapting to these frequent outbreaks. Stay with us. Okay. That was entirely worthless, but we know there's zombies now. Maybe you think the zombies? Wait, hold up, hold up. An item I can pick up. Maybe. No, that's like a fucking. I need something else for it. I don't know what that is, though. Does everybody have that on their washing machine? I've never seen that in my life. A broken jar? Laundry is so expensive now. Wait! No shit. Okay. Alright. Thank you. We, we don't have to worry about it being clean, at least, since we got it from the washing machine. Yippee. Hold up. Hold up. I have a bad f feeling about opening that. I feel like if we open that, there's gonna be zombies, dude. Should we do it anyways? You think I should stop being a bitch? Don't do it. Fuck it, we ball. Pussy, what can I say? I am what I eat, dude. Sorry for not eating oak trees. Well, that didn't really result in a whole hell of a lot. Okay, dick. Hey, my dick is at least a little bit better than okay. Come on. Tolo is nothing if not consistent. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. I might be the the only thing consistent about me is how inconsistent I really am. Why can't we piss? Because uh, the door is stuck. And the toilet upstairs is stolen. Like it ran away. So we've got we're finding materials to craft a new toilet in the house. But half of my doors are boarded up and there's a key code that I need as well. It's proving to be a little bit of a of a chore to get this particular piss break going. I would not be able to go back to bed after doing all of this. I'd be up for the rest of the day. And it'd just be done, so. Got a nice man cave down here. Okay, well, let's look for... <gasps> what the fuck? Not now. Not now. So, um... All right. That's what's up. Yep. That's raw porcelain. If only I had something in mind. <laughs> He's got a porcelain mine in his basement. This is the guy who's making all the skippity toilets. It's all his fucking fault. Okay, so we need to find like a... Okay, the... we're making moves right now. Now we can open the chain doors. Where the fuck is the toy? We gotta mine the raw porcelain, bro. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ugh. 
bolt cut or no no it's for these chains for sure there's gonna be a pickaxe in the refrigerator that's where you normally keep them stop me okay we got a key and then there's that other door too so um okay <gasps> voice acting's very good it is it's surprisingly good for a game like this that is not how those work. Maybe you're just not not proficient with them. Maybe it's a skill issue oh, no. on your part. Not now. Not now. Silent Hill 4 would have been a lot easier if the guy knew how to use bolt cutters this way. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh. There's fucking Oh come on. There's Porcelain ore blocking this door. And I think the dev might be a whore. Game looks great, but I worry that I think you... That because you played the Raphael 333 game oh, before this. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no. I wonder if those are going to get more and more frequent to the point where every three steps we're going to have to be mashing the buttons. Oh. Okay, so we have a key. What door does this go to exactly? This one? Sure enough. Damn it, Will. Got me again. What Fuck you to do this time. Fuck you. Okay. The code appears to be 99208. Let me let me make sure. Oh. I actually okay, yeah. 99208. What's up, Torpal? How are you, dude? What the fuck? Not now. Not now. Hey. Can we use this to craft? Okay, okay. Can we use the hammer on it? No. Can we use the bolt cutters on it? No. Quickly. You are at the precipice of destruction. You will scatter your wits and construct the final toilet. The fate of the universe lies in your hands <laughs> What the fuck? Through the porcelain portal. Okay. Those were his last words, huh? Wait. But what if he's what if he's not telling the truth? What if he's lying to me? I don't think I would trust him if that happened to me in real life. I really don't. Owls are wise and don't lie. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I trust them. Go to the piss realm. We gotta... We gotta go prepared. We need to make sure we've taken care of everything else. I wasn't sure if this was actually gonna work. Why are you so much shorter? Some crouching, bro. The final door. Okay, we got the toilet seat. Hold key. I. I'm. I, <laughs> I'm trying to hold no, P no. right now, Torpal. Uh, I can't do both. He didn't ask if you wanted to hear what he said again. He's not a real owl. That's true. I was going to drop you in the back rooms. Where the, there is still time for that. We still don't know what's beyond the piss portal. We got to go down into the basement and mine those rocks. We got we to gotta have uh, brown bricks mine crap for the toilet. And then I think after that, the only thing left is the portal. That I'm aware of, at no. least. No. Okay. I'm starting to hate the fact that he keeps interrupting me. He, it's Not like they're now. listening Not to me. Now. Bottle or a cannon? There was a jar, but it fell and broke. 
Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ugh. Come on. Would life be more exciting if everyone reacted and eating a piss like this guy does? I mean, it probably would be just a little bit more exciting, but it wouldn't be better. Oh, jeez. Oh, Don't know. Ugh. What if I just pop? What if I just explode like a piss balloon, like how circumcised or uncircumcised guys can piss balloon? No. But like the most extreme version of that. That's like Yoru opinion. Is Yoru another like Taijutsu Kaisen character? I don't know about that one. I've only heard of Gajoru. Oh. Well, well. Haven't been here in years. Okay. We we need to listen to Beyonce. Not now. Not now. Please. No. What do you mean toilet progress zero out of th fuck you? Okay. Uh, oh jeez. Don't know. Just pee off the cliff. Yeah, that would make sense, but I don't think that's the, the I don't think the point of this game is to make any sort of logical sense. You got one part? Yeah, and I've got the clay. I could go to the crafting table, but I need to see what's over here first. I definitely don't have all of the parts, so there's no point in messing with it right now. Are we hyped for One Punch Man Season 3? I still haven't seen, like, any of it. Hey, Autumn, can you please get me a Diet Coke if you're listening? I can't leave this alone. Like, I, it's important. Sure. Thank you, baby. Come on. Come on. Let's... <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. I don't even know what I'm getting from this. Am I getting anything? I don't think I am. Hello, Matt Mank. I think this is like... This is the third game, and every game has been an un unbelievable masterpiece up until this point. Hello, cynical dude. Okay, so I might have just fucked myself, but we're gonna keep going. Yes, maybe Salas here. Not now. Not now. That means we gotta find our way back. I'm not exactly the king of speed right now, so... Maybe if I unequip the pickaxe, I'll move a little faster. Please! Please let me through. Holy shit. Okay. Maybe. Maybe th those are just extra rocks in case you fuck your inventory situation up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh no! Ugh. It's like first land, yeah. Basically, this is a default walk speed in Morrowind. If only you had a knife to run faster. Yeah, we need to get back to the killing floor strats. Hello, Tally Ten and Bomb. <laughs> we got this. We got this. The water tank has been added. Now I just have to go upstairs and craft with the clay, come back here, and make the toilet, and I think we'll, we'll be winners. It'll be a complete and total victory. Where was this? It was... No, not in here. It wasn't in here. This is where it was, right? Come on. Come on. Fuck off. We did it. We have all the pieces. Let me confirm in the inventory. Okay, we got the water tank, the toilet bowl, and the toilet seat. We Victory is all but assured. What if he drops the toilet before placing it and the game just ends? 
Happy the boards don't just disappear after being torn off. They just lie there on the ground. Oh. What's up? I have a food baby. Hell yeah, that's and a good kind of baby to have. I have eaten too much today. That's good. You need to eat. Okay, I'll, I'll save this Diet Coke for my inevitable victory. I don't need to pee anymore. Okay, so... Oh, not this. Um... Holy shit. It's like we're making a mech, dude. Pee! Just as a stream of pee flows freely and without hesitation, let us also pour out our devotion and faith in umami, never holding back in our prayers. What is this music? Let's try to fail now. Let's see what happens if I piss myself. Did you say yeah or no? Huh? Did you say yeah or no? What? I asked you if this was made by the sushi guy. Oh no, I have no idea. Sorry, I can't hear. I have... No, I don't think it was made by the uh, sushi dad. Not Japanese enough. I still need to play the next uh, sushi game. Right, I'm gonna just piss myself. Damn. JFC wanted to see this. He was like, yeah, I want to see the ending. So this is what JFC was thinking about. I bet he's very happy. That sounds amazing. Oh my god. Holy fuck, it just keeps going. What if you get like a secret piss tank ending where you just leave it here and the entire house fills with pee? After like 23 and a half hours of just leaving the screen on, you unlock a new level. It's a lot of piss, though. I can piss that much. There's a renewable energy source. This is actually how Vetus gets that, that, uh, telltale sheen, where you know it's one of his games. Looks like honey. Does this count as rain? No, probably not. Uh, you good? I'm stretching. Do you have video proof of your piss powers? I have someone who can confirm my piss powers. But I mean, I'm... I guess I could record the audio. No, no, no. Just All you have to do is be like a character witness. <laughs> Let's just say he fries some major chicken. Yeah, yeah, lots of chicken. It's like fucking Popeyes in that bitch. Hello, Rafa. All right, this is Iki the gas station. Iki, Iki. Iki Minjaj. <laughs> Are you good? Sorry, that video's good. Alright, I better hurry. I'm about to lose the last train home. Well, I hope this isn't about the lost profits. Don't they make a poo-poo game a year from now? <laughs> yeah, you want to see the poo-poo game over screen? Gotta be kidding me. This can't be happening to me. Shit, why won't it let me? Hold on, there's someone over here who might be able... No, never mind, that's a sign. For a moment, I thought it was uh, a famous YouTuber. I'm not going to say which one, though. Shortest train ever. So what do we do now, fellas? Just, just... Just hanging out? Stop posting that goddamn cat. Um... What kind of game is this? I don't really want to approach... I don't talk. Okay, thank you, schoolgirl. Alright. It's a You're the Bad Guy game? It might be. Oh, hold up. If I had some spare coins, I could call and ask for a taxi. So we're looking for some spare coins right now. I'm the master coin finder. I think I've seen that model before. I'm suspicious that it's not a schoolgirl at all and it's gonna be something that tries to kill me. 
I don't know why a schoolgirl would be out here at these hours, so... I'm not seeing anything noteworthy in this part of the map. Certainly not seeing any coins. I hope this isn't like a pixel hunt. Find the coin in the bush, you stupid fuck. Have fun playing my game sort of situation. Probably like 7 p.m. in the fall or something. Although I guess if... It's a Men in Black reference. I, All right, I'll take your word for it. I saw those movies when I was like a little kid and I remember nothing about them. Watch Robot Dreams, very good movie. Never seen those movies. Rob the schoolgirl of her coins and call a taxi. I don't really want to do that. It's like... That's not what a good person would do. Right? What if I want to be a good person? But I don't know where the fuck to find coins. Not not getting too lucky with that right now. Oh, hold on. Lucky day just needs some extra coins. Wait, that's not enough? Or is this like an ESL moment? What if you have to wait for the next train? Would it be the first time? Holy cow, I just found Pigzilla rather Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a quest that you can uh you can get prayer pigs in RuneScape. Trash and vending machines. I already checked some of the vending machines. Unless you have to physically like Oh, hold on. On top of here. Fine, now I can make the call. I want a piggy? Yeah, dude. I think you gotta be a member though. Okay, thanks. The taxi should be here in a minute or two. Oh, man. This is a nice, fresh Diet Coca-Cola, brothers. On Friday, I realized that I hadn't pissed. Like, from the moment I started Tower Unite to the end, I didn't piss once. And I fucking, like... Dude, two and a half minutes easy of just straight pissing. Train the train. Okay. I'm one of the best pissers in the nation. I'm 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 fairly confident in that. Can you see her face? I think it's intentionally set up. No, no, you can see it. She does she looks kinda old. It's a long piss session. Fuck yeah, brother. So we just gotta uh Wait for the train. Do you time? I time, but I got a I got a strong flow too. It's not like two and a half minutes of some little baby bitch tiddly wink trickle down economics Ronald Reagan pissing bullshit. We're going like full fucking mass. We're going full force, full throttle. Okay, our taxi's here. Also a good pisser, but I'm in another nation. Hey, get the fuck back here! This guy's. What if this small child jacks my taxi? And that's the entire game. There's like no horror elements. You just end up having to sleep here. Okay. Y'all ever have goopy piss? No, I don't think I have. You made it home, just had to listen to some- Wait, how the fuck are there five endings in this goddamn game? Okay, one must be actually like bum-rushing the train. Come on, come on, come on. No, please, please, please. Please, please. Can you explain bum rush? Like, just fucking charging it, dude. Like, dicks out. So, how am I supposed to do this, then? Leave me alone. Station, train, station. What if I just keep talking to this thing? Stop. Go away. 
It's a thing. I'm, I, dude. I'm, I'm placing my bet. Like, it is not an, it is not an actual human being. I fucking told you, bro. I told you. Sometimes people or ghost spirits, yokai, don't like talking and being interrupted. I hope everyone who is criticizing me for referring to it as a thing feels bad now. I don't know if we can catch this train, brothers. I don't know if it's in the realm of possibility. Oh my god, she was a ghost. I know, it's, it's really scary stuff. What is evil retail mascot? Like McDonald's, like Ronald McDonald. Or, like, something you'd see... What? Leaving by walk wasn't a good idea, didn't you see? Okay, bitch, make up your fucking mind. I leave you alone, and I talk to you. What do you want me to do? Okay, what if... What if... I give her the money to take the taxi and then walk home. No, being run over was... Oh, by the cab? Oh, shit. I could try that, too, yeah. Maybe you could use it on the vending machine. You distract her with cheese. Okay, so even... Alright. Even if... She was a normal human. That works on women, not girls, right? I don't know if the cheese strat is viable. When we're talking about schoolgirls or ghosts. Cheese... There's this saying on the internet where it's like, you can... You can... You can, uh, distract a woman with cheese. Or you can, you can, uh... Like, just giving a woman unsolicited cheese will produce good results. Fascinate a woman with a piece of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what it was. You can fascinate a woman with a piece of cheese. Yummy. Okay, so... Is it... I guess the coins don't always... End up in the same spot. But they might always be, like... On a trash can or in a vending machine. I probably looked at them and missed them just now. Cheese sounds pretty fucking good, dude. I could go for some cheese. I'm not... I'm not seeing these coins this time. Can you hit... The whip ad nene in the nom. E-O-F our lord. Are you asking me to... What does that fucking mean? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not whipping and I'm not nay naying. I'm not agent oranging. I'm not doing any of this shit. Well, I think I might be fucked. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find these coins, brothers. Bad coin RNG. Check near the bike area. I haven't. I can. I don't. I don't know if they'll be there, but I can take a look. I suppose there's no harm in in taking a gander. I don't think I can walk across the tracks. I'm gonna be pissed if they, it can just spawn over here. Trigger for the second? Maybe. Maybe I have to interact with the phone again. It's possible. It just seems awfully conspicuous that this area is so large. For no reason. Oh yeah, you're right. The bike sign. Wow. You've got a good eye. I did not see that at all. I would have just walked right back. I didn't realize that's why you were mentioning the bike sign, but... Okay. 
boss arena? I don't think there's going to be any bosses here. So let's try, let's try the first idea. Let's just try hanging out. Let's just try sitting here, kicking it. You know, it's a Sunday night. Hopefully it's not a terrible Sunday night. Hopefully you've got a nice snack, a nice drink. Your bladder's empty. Here, you're queer, you're ready to game. Just enjoying some high-quality itch.io stuff. Think about life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. I'm so glad it's my Friday and I have four days off. Yeah, we're going to play so much RuneScape, dude. It's going to be insane. Going to get maxed in four days. I'm doing tax homework. Fun. Got root beer and popcorn, but my bladder is full. Yeah, I gotta take a big fat fucking piss after this one, too. Smoking a fat joint? Hell yeah, that's what's up. 810 crescent rolls, I'm thriving. Got some leftover uh, pizza that I'm gonna eat after this. Gonna fuck it up. Stop talking about RuneScape. I'm like this close to installing. Do it, dude. We got a guild. There were like seven people on today. It seems like you didn't want to go back home at all, so don't worry, you were going to stay in the state. Okay, F fuck you. All right, I don't even care about the fourth ending. So it just took too long? Bitch, I think you took too much. Fuck off. Was Jenna on RuneScape? I haven't seen Jenna in a while, I think. I feel like I haven't seen... I think she might have actually died. Um, I hope she's doing all right, but I don't... I st she clearly doesn't want to play RuneScape, so I'm not asking her anymore. It's okay. I'll remember that next time uh, she asks about Maple Story or something similar. Okay, this game is called Afraid. Oh, that's right, sorry. We're playing RS3 right now. Just Critten. Okay, I am going to take a urination break, and then we are going to get gaming, okay? Excuse me while I go and fry some chicken. I, you might like Helldivers Autumn, I don't know. It kind of, like, you, I feel like the first, like, several difficulties are kind of a drag, honestly. So it's one of those games where I, I'm of the opinion you need to play for, like, five, six hours before it starts getting, uh interesting i don't know if other people share that opinion but it's like it starts you off way too easy and you have to like finish missions in the easy difficulty to to do the harder ones and it just kind of feels like you're pissing into the fucking wind all right i'll be right back All right, I'm back. I know this is probably not the most pleasing noise in the world. 
to be left with. Hello, Evan. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's get gaming. Getting spooked, Tolo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you know why you're here? Maybe for pie. No. Did you enjoy this day? Is there like a middle option? I guess so. Like, yeah, today was fine. Do you know where you are? No. Do you like cats? Sure. Do you have vivid childhood memories? Yes. Do you love your parents? Yes. Do you have a favorite hobby? No. I love my hobbies equally. Do you have any psychological injuries? Probably. How could you not being on the internet in 2024? Were you bullied as a child? I was more often the bully than not. Like, I have been. But I don't like the way this is framed. Because I've been, I've been bullied, but I've also been a bully, too. So, I mean, I guess yes. Did your parents get divorced? No. Regrettably. Do you exist? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think I exist. I'm just not sure about everything else. Did you kill her? I think you could make an argument, but in the eyes of the law, no. Did you stay? Okay, no, I definitely didn't do that. Did you kill her for cheating? No. Are you ashamed of what you did? No. Do you like this place? Yes. Did you take the pills today? Yes. Were you surprised that she cheated on you? Well, okay, so this is a fucking loaded question because like, if I believe that that didn't happen, then I would say no, but that makes it sound like, oh yeah, me fucking, you know, me and my roasty wife dot JPEG. That's not what I want to say either, but I also don't agree with the premise that she did this. So I guess yes, because I would be surprised. Do you know what's in the dark behind you? Oh, that's my wife. Yeah. Are you afraid? No, dude. We're chilling. We're kicking it. We didn't even get divorced. Have you committed suicide? No. Do you think they enjoy scraping your brains off the walls? Maybe? Yeah, DJ Arbuzz, dude. That's... Yeah, woo, DJ! You got the tunes. Looks like the floor, not the walls. Well... Three, 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 not the worst. I feel... I feel like uh, this is better than the 333 game. Day five, I am very afraid of the police and harassment. It. I can't fucking read this. Being watched, have committed. Not sorry, but in any case, I don't want to be alone. So. I, 
I left her in my room. If you're reading this, I'll kill you. Don't you dare imprison me alone. Okay, so he's like with the corpse. Oh. Okay, and then it ended. That was a strange note to end on. Does that count as game crashes? Yeah, I guess so. It was fine, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I, IGN would give that a 9.5 out of 10. I feel like you, you... Does that count as a sentient machine? No, I don't think so. All right. Oh, God, should I? I don't know if I should play this one just yet. All right, well, I guess I started it and the music's good, so I got to see it through. This is comatose, everybody. Let me turn it down just a bit. The end of Lean Vangelion. Fuck the tutorial. Who gives a shit? Good night, s'more eater. Comatose. A prison for those trapped in the world of unconsciousness. No, pop it at. Long time ago, Comatose fell under the dominion of an evil entity simply known as the Deity. For centuries, this tyrant sowed terror, causing the collapse of entire worlds. Until one day, the beings finally stood up against their horrific leader. Damn, this music's awesome. After a long battle, the beings were victorious. The deity's soul was sealed within a dark void, never to be found again. But little did they know, this caused the closure of the soul pathway to the real world. Without the deity's guidance, the denizens of Comatose found themselves stranded, unable to navigate the path back to reality. So does that mean people who go into comas never, will never come back now? Or is this not related to actual comas? And then there is you. Thank you, Geico Pig, for the six-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's a good name. Are we the people in comas? Maybe. You go to the lean dimension whenever you're comatose. Okay. Take me, sweet death. Oh. Damn. Okay. The boat died. I'm trying to, uh... Level 1, 0 XP, HP, pa Okay, okay, okay. Let's get gaming. Yeah, this is a free demo. Ah. Uh. A how you doing, baby girl? It's Misa! Shit! Imagine you go into the coma world and the first person you meet is Misa Coma. Wait, you're a dude? It's always a dude just like that other one. I would have beaten his ass by the way, but you disturbed me. I mean, if he didn't have that damn flamethrower. Anyway, I'm Aldis Stink, or the coolest, as they know me around here. And damn, every single one of my three muscles is hurting right now. Well, at least my car is... Is that how he walks? Dude, he's, he's walking on testicles! Just don't say anything. So you seem to be a new dude around here, huh? I mean, just look at your ugly ass clothes. You look like a homeless dude with... 
Well, ugly ass clothes. You probably don't even know how to fight. I mean, only suckers can't fight. Well, since I'm so cool, I, out the stink, will teach you, the sucker, how real shrooms fight. O okay. And thank you, Gimpy Peanut, for the 59 months. Congrats on the Whataburger. I. So this right here is the fighter area. Every time you encounter an enemy, you're gonna get thrown into this place. Okay. No bruggers. What is a brugger? Like triple me, triple bruh? Yeah, let's fuck him up. Now you're gonna see a cursor fly over me from a specific- Okay. Okay. That's a strange attack system. Damn, that hurt like hell. Pretty good for a sucker like you. So after you've made your move, it's in the enemy's turn. Usually the enemy's gonna shoot, shoot some kind of objects towards you that you gotta avoid. Okay. Oh, okay. Basically Undertale. That's pretty neat. The only reason I'm worried about playing this now is I'm worried that it's going to be too long. I'm finna head to, I don't know, somewhere. So we'll see. We'll play it for a bit. If it's too long, we can pick it up another time. Or, or just wait for the full release, because I'm fairly certain it's a demo. Where did the banger music go? Don't worry, I'm sure we're going to be fighting more motherfuckers. Going to be beating some ass. What the fuck is this? No, I am not a microwave. I'm the save point. I thought it was a window unit. Honestly. Thought it was a fucking air conditioner. I didn't think microwave. Was that a manlet? No, I'm pretty sure that was all distinct. I love cannibalism. Alright, there's a bunch of big fat fucking boogies sleeping in the middle of the road. Maybe a little flame would be able to wake him up. Alright, we gotta find that asshole with the flamethrower. Okay. I fucking beefed it. God damn it. Uh, fucking uked, baby. No, you don't get a you don't get a redo. Fuck you. All right. Oh, oh my face is all fucked up. I've got like an absurdly large jowl on one end, but not the other. A fucking Tolomeo single jowl. You look like a shroom. It's the meanest thing anyone's ever said to- Oh, fuck. Come on. Well, good evening, Mr. Sucker. Is it that really your real name? Well, it seems that wannabe gang member wasn't fibbing after all. I had to nearly incinerate him with my flamethrower for crying out loud. Tee hee. They sure love fire. It seems like you, my dear friend, have found yourself wandering around the wrong neighborhood, that's for sure. So I'm warning you, Mr. Sucker, if you get too close, I might just use my incredible powers against you. And as you can see, I've left you some extremely vicious rocks. Oh god, okay, so like... It's been roughly a thousand fucking years. Hold on, let me see, how, how should I fucking do this one? I need to go... Have I already fucked this up? Okay, let's just... Let's move these out of the way. Let's make a little more space to, to do some hood rat shit. Um, where would I want to move this one? I think we could probably afford to just move it down here. Let's just fucking... Okay, that might have been a mistake. If I saw this, I would commit Sudoku. Yeah, I'm not that great at these. I usually just wing it, but I wanna I wanna give it a real try. I 
think I might have already fucked it. Hold on, let me see. It seems like what I'm seeing with these rocks, though, I might be, uh... Fuck it, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, it literally told me I fucked up. If you get stuck, press Q. So thank you for that video game. All right, let me let me see how I want to go about doing this. I think that's probably right. I'm not gonna listen to you. Fuck off. Okay. Drugs, dude. Fuck yeah. I want. Dr My bad, I guess I accidentally hit the mute key. That, 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 regrettably, I'm back, though. My bad, I thought you were with the feds. So what the hell do you want? I, I, I don't know, dude. What do I want when I come into a, a store named Drugs? Sugar, syrup, and red pill. Sugar's probably a healing item, so, uh... Oh, I'm poor. Okay, well... Can't buy drugs just yet. I have to shower. BRB, your arm is so long. Leave my fucking arm alone. What the hell? I'm having a random right nut ache at the moment. I don't think I wounded it. It's just it's just acting out right now. Achievement unlocked. You survived. Cool. So there was another path this way. I wonder if I could, uh... No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, uh... Just bullshit my way through. Or... No, I can, I can, I can. I just gotta keep pushing this one. Is this, like, uh... There's some odd-looking spikes blocking the road. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. I hope that doesn't mean there's, like, a switch under it, underneath a random rock. That would be so shitty, dude. I would not be happy about that. Play some fucking Dora the Explorer. Do you see a switch? Where? What game is this? What the fuck was it called? I already forgot. Comatose, I think, right? Yeah, comatose. I'ma fuck this dude up. Oh shit, he's not playing games. He's significantly tankier. Fuck! Shit! I'm getting dickens! Okay. It's over, bros. There's literally no way I can recover. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I just need one more, one more great. If I survive this, I have a chance. Okay, then it goes wide, and then it goes narrow. Okay, easy. I got him downloaded. Free as fuck. Hello, Cactorm. I need to go beat the shit out of some random losers to get some level ups. Could I fuck that mushroom up there? I could have sworn there was a fucked up mushroom over here. I guess I'm on drugs. I guess going into that drug pit was uh, maybe not the right choice after all. So theoretically, if you if you could dodge everything, then you could do like a level one epic. Ch the promised land, homies. 
Holy shit! You found trees nuts. You found a brugger. I keep hitting the mic. Hold on, let me get rid of that key. Like, that happens a lot with these RPG Maker games because my fucking wrist is fat. Hold on, let me just delete that hotkey. Let me fucking find it. Keep muting myself. God doesn't want me to speak. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Okay. Shouldn't happen again. Thought that was on purpose? No, dude. I'm a man. I would never silence myself on purpose. Who are you kidding? Uh-oh. Huh? Seems like you gotta go... You got through the rocks I left for you. Well, it doesn't matter. You see, I thought you'd like rock shooting cannons more than only the rocks, so I stole a few from one weirdo. So enjoy. Okay, this dude's name is literally the bully. But thankfully, I'm, I'm a bully too. Oh, damn. Just straight up one shot, huh? Holy fuck. What's going on, Noodle Slayer? Fuck, dude. That's so fast. I have to go. Are we the bully hunter? No, dude. We're just, uh, we're just a little fucked up right now because we took some drugs from an ant. Alright. You turn the lever and something happened. I'm a fucking legend. Today at work I unclogged the toilet with water that looked like pickle juice. Yum, dude. You want to go get a pickle slushie from Sonic? Excuse me. I didn't mean to burp. I hope you can forgive me. I'm just getting excited for the pickle slushie. Don't... Oh, shit. I really want to play the full version of this already. Like, this is a demo and the art and the music, the combat. Like, literally everything is cool so far. I detest that contraption... The entire comatose is yet ensnared by these dreadful statues, and no soul takes action against them. Have they all forsaken the memory of his transgressions against us? It's an ancient statue. You don't know why, but it evokes a sense of unease in you. Have you ever had a person that just, you know, in your mind, that person is this statue? Even thinking about them ruins your mood. You turn the lever and something happened. Uh-oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, baby. Oh, shit. I... Oh. Mm, mm, damn. Mm, okay. I need to eat the brugger. You just gotta uke him. You just gotta uke him. I wanted... It. I would never get hit by that normally, but I wanted an excuse to eat a burger. Ah, fuck. Okay, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. Okay. Damn, alright. Jesus, I really suck at this one. This guy's hunger is insane. Yeah, yeah, I want another one, dude. I need the nuggets, too. I'm just really, really famished, starving. I'm starving Marvin over here. No cap? Yeah, no cap, dude. No hats of any sort. No baseball cap, no cowboy hat. No fedora. Okay. So I'm glad that it turned out that the Switch was in fact not in some fucked up 
Nightmare Hellscape. Can you buy drugs now? I guess I can finish the puzzle and go buy drugs. That would be the fucking base thing to do. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's take a look at what everything is. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, fuck off. I thought we were brothers. He is so high. Look at those eyes. Syrup. Heals 10 HP. No. What does the red pill do? Temporarily increases your attack power. Yes. Yes. I feel like the demo is probably gonna end when we fight that asshole with the flamethrower, so we maybe buff ourselves for it, right? That Hal Penzi and Hoel. Yeah, what whatever. This game's already fucking sick. What is Penzi and Hoel? I don't understand. Are you making a Joel joke? You know, when that one attack had, like, mushrooms coming out from underneath me and, like, poking me in the butt, I was gonna say something about Joel, but I decided not to be homophobic. But now you're bringing it out in me. Freeze! How the hell are you already here? This puzzle is still unfinished. How embarrassing. Formerly yours truly the bully. What the fuck are these two doing? It's Mario and Luigi! My brother works so hard, but he just doesn't understand that you must squeeze the scissors, not push them. <laughs> what a fucking dumbass. Oh no. Can I- I can, I can, I can. It's not a shroom, it's a shroomer. It's a cardboard box, it's full of colorful clothes and a consolation prize titled Comatose Evilness Tournament 19,993. Okay, shroomer. Hey. We shouldn't be using that kind of language. It is a tombstone, it reads whip number four. If it weren't for that one angry dude, you'd still be with me. Whip number three, you were straight ass. Whip number two, you were where it almost, it all almost ended. You were where it all started from. Total made otter homophobic. No, dude, she's from Florida. It's more homophobic. Trust. Yo, little sucker. Is that really you? Dude, check out my brand new whip. The old one is a piece of crap compared to this one. This beast has all the latest tech available here in Comatose. Like a cassette player, a mug holder, and a... Well, that's about it. But it's still cool. Right? Anyway, let me show you how it works. Damn. Oh, fuck yeah, minecarp. Aldisdink.exe has stopped working. Okay, I can use it in battles, too. Fuck yeah, baby. It's been a while since we saved. Oh, dude, I won't get hit. Oh, shit. Uh. I believe this is the, the quicker to die of the two. He's gonna do, he's gonna do ass fucks now.
Old man reaction time, please. It actually is just like random. Okay, okay, hold on. We gotta, we gotta be careful. Let's eat a brugger. Okay, wide, narrow. Oh fuck, okay, he's never actually like tracked that before. I guess I've just been uh, moving later. Okay, okay, okay. Now he's gonna do the little, the, the fuck you in the ass maneuver. Let's eat trees nuts! Oak tree? Fuck off! Oh, dude, I fucked it up. Damn it. Okay, it can hit there. I'm throwing so fucking hard right now. Okay, I should not get hit here. Actual legend. Talent prevails. I sure wish there was a save point, brothers. I feel like I gotta be super... Diligent with my heals because I haven't seen a save in so long. Gotta make sure I'm never in the one-shot range. Bully Sheen. Misa, you can't just ask if there's a lore reason why my face is fucked up, dude, okay? Well, I guess you won... You've outsmarted all of my beautiful puzzles. But I don't even care like that at all. It's toxic? Yeah, dude, everyone's always picking on me. It's fucked up. It make me cry. So, uh... Do I just have to walk all the way back now? What's, what's up with this? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Ha ha ha. Nobody outsmarts the one and only bully. Monkey life is real life. It would be funny if I had to play as a little flattened fuck. Forever. A thank you, Cat the Magic Dragon, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, I guess we gotta go back. At least that means we're gonna go get the save. This guy's going to attack me now. I don't like the way he's looking at me. He kind of owned you there. Yeah, he did. He did. He fucked me grandpa style. There's no doubt about that. So what am I doing now, though? Can I just, like, cue to go back to the start? Damn it. Oh, I fucked that one up, didn't I? Tee hee! It's okay. Doesn't like how shroomers look at- Dude, they- They look like they got, like, some weird shit going on. You can't blame me for that. They look kind of like, uh, like freaks of a sexual nature. Trolling myself really hard right now, huh? I almost did it again. I'm just not certain where I'm supposed to go now is the thing. But I should probably go and save. I think that's a good choice. You should stream Superstar Saga. No. Pickaxe? I guess I do have the pickaxe. 
can go and uh, do that. Yeah, I already forgot about this. So those need fire. I don't think, but I want to see if the pickaxe will, will do anything. You should stream Fortnite. No. No, I don't think I will. You don't deserve it? Yeah. I only deserve yeek. Oh, fuck. Okay. No, dude. Why is it called that? Shit. Wow, he's drunk as fuck up there. Look at him, dude. Holy hell. What's what's up with this? If you had a car, that is what it would look like. What the hell does that mean? Hey, buddy. Oh, another human being. Please pay no attention to me. I'm simply here fishing, awaiting the inevitable. Soon I will merge with these other mindless shrooms. And then someone will inevitably end my existence. Listen, you must find a way to leave this place behind. As for me, it's already too late. Just look at my head. The metamorphosis has already begun. Ha! I saved every being in this cursed place, and what did they give me in return? A prolonged and agonizing demise. There is no hope. There is no future. My sole purpose is to fish until I can do so no longer. It is a tombstone. It reads, Joe Simp, the first ape in comatose. So is this all Joe's fault? What's going on here? We got a fucking short king. God damn. Wait. Damn it. Abracadabra. Ah, behold, my distinguished audience, for it is I. The puzzle. No! Fuck you! Yeah! Boo! Throw onions at him. Well, there goes my confidence dissipating into thin air. Shut the hell up. Uh, anyway, welcome, welcome, and thrice welcome to the grandest enigma of the century. Menace Cannon Madness. Gather round, dear audience, for today's spectacle holds a guest of the most extraordinary kind, a human being. Okay. Thou art the chosen one destined to embark upon this journey into the realm of enigma and riddles. For the victor shall claim the coveted reward of... 300 coins! Yes! I like how... Is it actually going to give me a choice? Ha ha ha. In the realm of enchantment, stillness heralds consent. Nobody tell Arcadum about that, all right? We're going to keep that between us. Pay close attention, my eager spectators, for I shall reveal the secrets of what you must do. Uh. Hey, you. I don't even care if you're, like, the greatest puzzle man or something, but guess what? I'm the one rocking these tutorials here. Ahem. Sure, go ahead. So we meet again, little sucker. So the whole idea in this puzzle thing is to wreck these four damn menace cannons over here. All about smacking the cannonballs, they shoot right back. I gotta Minecraft them. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, let's fucking do it, baby. I think he is. You can go back to Joe's roof. Now, that sounds like a terrible fucking place to be. The way he moves his hips is mesmerizing. You see that shit? Alright, I'm gonna beat this in only one try. Alright. I'm here, I'm queer, I'm ready. Cast your gaze upon this marvel. Behold the practice cannon. You may refine your skills with this when you're... Okay. Oh, fuck. I gotta, like, hold it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready, dude. Fuck it. Why do we have the French flag? It appears that you were at last prepared for the Menace Cannon Madness. Okay. Alright, alright, so... Easy. What kind of person would ever get hit in this video game? Like, come on. Thank you, Raider, for 15 months. I appreciate it. I played Winnie the Pooh's home run derby, bitch. You think you can touch me? It appears to me that your diligent efforts have borne fruit, for you have just earned yourself... 300 coins. Uh-oh. This is where it's going to get fucked, right? Uh. No? No? Wait, what happened, dude? She's mad now. Is she mad because I got the 300 coins? Congratulations. Now I have been rendered bankrupt due to your astounding success until our paths converge once more. 300 dirty coins. Fuck you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what's going on here. Dog, I'm telling you, the late 2020s are going to be the years of the manlet. Like, it's our time to fucking shine. Well, not me, but all my manlets out there, you know, you're going to be the true kings before you know it. Hello, post prey. Okay, so let's go into Joe's, I guess. Talk to the door, sir. Good evening, sir. Looking for a drink to forget about your uncertain future, huh? Let me see your ID first so I can confirm you're at least 800 years old. What? You don't have an ID? That's unfortunate. Okay, we gotta go. I guess we need 330 coins to buy an ID. Do you remember me? I go by the name Ryda. So I heard you were looking for an ID, right? I happen to be in possession of one. I can sell it. 300 coins! Yes. Fantastic. I wonder if you can grind enemies for the coins, or if you need to... to do the, uh, minigame. Please feel free to go right in, sir. Okay. This place sucks. The fuck is this shit? No, JFC, not everything in this game is penis-shaped. They're mushrooms, bro. Come on. 
Yo, Big B, I think you've got yourself another guest. This is gonna be the boss, right? How the hell are you still alive? Didn't you see those goddamn puzzles I made just to end your miserable existence? I suppose it's time to do something I should have done the first moment I set my eyes on you. I'm gonna fuck your mouth, bitch. You're just gonna sit there in your little fucking grief diamond? Okay. Okay, we need that red pill, baby. Fuck? Oh, okay. Damn, that's a hard one. I know what I'm supposed to do, but the timing's... Oh, fuck. Holy shit. I'm getting bullied, dude! What the fuck? No, no, suck my dick! Holy shit, okay. Uh. He still got his little fucking crystal shield bullshit. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna be fucked then, until he does that attack. Alright. This is the worst fucking one. gonna do the aerial boulders, right? I'm so fucked. I still can't hit him. It's just... Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to play so fucking well. Is it gonna be the green one, or is it gonna be the regular one? Okay, it's the regular one. God damn it, dude, if I didn't whip. Ugh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Second guess myself. I think it's Rip. Yeah, that, that one right there always gets me. Okay, it's going to be the green one. <laughs> it would be really funny if I lost. Like, I just failed like 10 times in a row. <laughs> like, that would be fucking amazing. I don't know how I managed to survive that. I completely wasted two entire cycles. Like if I had died there, it would have been easy after I figured out what to do. Wow, we completely destroyed the establishment of Joe's. I feel kind of terrible now. I like Joe's Crab Shack. That place was pretty bitchin'. You found a flamethrower. Oh. It seems like I have to be stationary. What the fuck? Hold on, let me save real quick. I'm sure Kimiko's fine. No, I think Kimiko is kill. I think she's down for the count. How long is this demo? I'm not certain. It's one of your victims. Oh, I'll... Yeah, that was my responsibility. I'm the one who... Like, I defended myself from a guy trying to kill me with a flamethrower. Now I'm the jack-off, huh? Alright, let me... That's pretty thrilling, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, you! All right, hold it right there, sir. Where do you think you're headed, huh? You're under arrest for committing a mass murder at Joe's. Dude, that's my line. Oh, listen up, kid. You really thought you could just slither through unnoticed, huh? Yeah, ain't happening on my watch. Now, come on, son. Save yourself the trouble and let's go. Why can't I beat the shit out of this guy? Alright, that looks like the demo. Wow, what a fucking game, huh? Holy shit. That was really fucking good. It's gonna give us a... Final little fanfare. This one's gonna be good. Yeah, that was sick. Was it better than Raphael 333? Probably not. If we're being honest with ourselves. Like, it's really hard to defeat 333 games. I'm gonna go piss really quick while this plays out. Oh, I got an active bladder today.
Oh. To people who keep posting ASCII adult content, learn from this mistake. Your behavior will not be tolerated on Tolomeo's channel. I will continue to issue these matters to the mods until you improve your conduct. Remember, Twitch is a privilege, not a right. Jesus Christ. You should feel bad for writing that. You should feel very, very, very fucking bad for writing that. Okay. Next video game. Where the fuck? Hold on. It's not showing up. Give me a sec. Hmm. Alright. Give me a moment. I'm having some capturing issues with this one. Why is this not showing up on any window? Hold on. I wanted to play this one. This looked cool, but I might have to... You say I haven't said what game it is, so I'm, I'm good to just, like, do it another time after I figure it out. Hold on. Does this work? There we go. Okay. This is Pawn Squid, everybody. Now, this is what gaming's all about. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. But I'm doing it. Oh, shit. You reeled a trout Z to continue. Okay, 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 I see. Oh, I- I didn't mean to do that, but I just fucked that trout. I completely dominated him. Holy shit. Okay, so when you, even on your defensive turn, you, like, jump on their head and, and give them brain damage. That's most definitely what's up. Get fucked on? Yeah, that guy got absolutely uh, filleted. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a god. Okay. I leveled up. I guess you're you're gonna be catching some big motherfucking fish eventually. Just every game is so fucking good tonight. Yeah, I mean once you play those uh like three 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 Raphael games, you know, they're like a good luck charm. They're like a luck booster. Okay, a water beetle. I don't know in what universe like why a water beetle is more difficult than a trout. Okay, what's he gonna do? Am I gonna have to actually dodge something? Oh. Wow, the water beetle kick up my ass. It had like the little jump up thing, and so I'm like, oh, I gotta jump, and then it shot. <laughs> I fucking hate shit. Because I jumped uh, a little too early. Not another fucking trout, come on, dog. We're all about the water beetles now, baby. Come on, come here, you little fat fuck. Okay, that, that wasn't kind. He's not really fat. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally grind too much. I don't want to just keep killing trout until I'm, like, God's gift to man. I need to have my revenge against that goddamn water beetle. Giant water bugs are scary as hell in real life. They're called toe biters. Okay, I got this this time, for sure. Holy fuck, okay. So I thought I was actually getting hit for a moment there, and I was really confused what to do, and it threw me off, but that was... I wasn't, that's just like the animation. Okay. Okay. 
Damn. Gotta wait a little longer, I guess. I'm, my, It's tough for me because I have old man reaction time, so waiting, you know. <laughs> I can't react that quick, bro. Can I tell you a secret? In that last game we played, I figured out the cannons, not by reacting, but by, like, realizing when they were gonna shoot based off of how they were flashing. They gave it away, like, way in advance. I would have been toast if I had to actually react, like, as soon as it came out of the barrel. Hmm. Okay. I think sometimes it just shoots up and I need to- I need to wait. You just gotta jump at the last second. I think I threw it a little too close to the pier. Getting fucked by the second enemy. Absolute legend. I have to go to bed. Hopefully the rest of the games are bangers. Good night. Just wait, just wait. Nah. I... Fuck, man. I have such a small amount of time to react to that. Beetle gonna haunt you in your sleep? No, my reaction times are. Like, this is just me being old. I mean, well, that's not fair. Like, my reaction times have always been dog shit in general. It's always been one of my, my worst qualities. Come on. Hello, J Left W. What's up, dude? Maybe I should just jump and just hope for the best. Oh, okay, I thought I figured something out there, but I guess not. Okay. Okay. Wow, I got a dub on him. That was overkill as hell. Okay. It's not anything to do with the arrow, Brune. I, my reaction time just sucks. Reeled up. I'm not another fucking trout. Fuck off. Well, I'm gonna beat your ass now. You're about to get a grandpa style. Thank you, Broham, for the 46 months. What's up, dude? How are you? Shit. I need to. I need to hold it. I need to. Uh. If that was the second enemy, then I'm in for a world of fucking hurt. You reeled up a dragonfly. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, alright. I knew what was gonna happen with the with the up and down stuff, but I didn't know exactly what I was looking for. No, that's not what I need to do. Okay, I have to like just tap it once. If I tap too many times, I just immediately throw it back out. This game's intense. Yeah, yeah, that one doesn't seem as bad. It's more of like a memory thing. I just have to get the timing right. The only thing is like, Fighting all these trout and other water bugs is not a... Uh, like, I want to fight the dragonfly now. I don't have time for this little bitch. Almost died to a trout. I think use hyper beam. It's just moving so fast it looks like a fucking laser, basically. That is my interpretation of what happened, at least. Okay. I like your massive thighs. Thanks, dude. I don't even have arms. I'm just like all thigh. Shit, 
That's not what I want to do. I don't even know if, like, uh, the, the distance in which you throw it has any real effect. Hold up. I'm assuming it does, so I'm just gonna fucking... Uh. Alright. Getting stronger the more... Yeah, that's what pisses me off, is I don't want to, like, over-level for it. I guess it's not that big of a deal in the, the funny fishing game, but I want to fight the dragonfly. I want to beat it with skill. Not because I caught, like, 70 trout. Okay. Don't want an Elden Ring moment? What the hell does that mean? Try to immediately fail? I guess I could. But that's also not exactly the most enjoyable thing to watch in the world either. Okay. Fuck it. We're just gonna- we're gonna overlevel, dude. We're gonna DSP it. We're gonna be like, level 500 for the first boss. Fuck it, dude. Count for dead animal? I don't think so. We're just catching them. This is a no dead animal stream. If there's a dead animal on screen, then I've failed. Okay. Man, this dragonfly's rare as fuck, huh? Holy hell. Okay. Alright. I'm going to immediately fuck this up. Okay, okay. Up, down, up, up, up. Oh. I miss. I thought it was telling me that that's the direction the projectiles are coming from. Duh. Texan education. Okay, then... Ideally, the first one will start... Above my head, so I can get a rhythm going for it. Alright, so now we gotta catch, like, uh, some more dudes and get another chance. I keep thinking the arrow is telling me how to jump. Wait. Okay. <laughs> he did not want to come down for that one. Stupid ass fish. Dragonfly does not play around. No, I'm just... I'm not doing a good job of interpreting what the game is telling me to do. It is 100% player error. I feel like the dragonfly is still not as bad as the beetle. What if there's like 50 fish in this game and it ends up being like absolute cock and ball torture? That'd be pretty funny. Wow. I don't even need to do the little mini game anymore. I'm just completely decimating the trout. Hello, beanie. Come on. They died a long time ago? No, you're thinking of Jenna. It's an understandable uh, point of confusion. Dragonfly, please give me catharsis. Let me fuck you, Dragonfly. Okay. Okay, so...
Alright, I was hella over leveled, but we got him. Is the next one going to be the infamous pawn squid? It sure is. Okay. This guy's fucking formidable. Oh. Okay. Squid's too strong. No, I just need to get the tempo for the uh, the the bullet. But <laughs> not like that. Although getting hit means it do he doesn't heal, at least. Oh fuck, he went an extra time. Caught the pawn squid. Thanks for playing. Okay, okay. So the final boss was the easiest fish. Go figure, right? This, this is how it goes. First try, easy. Definitely wasn't because I was level seven. No, no siree. No siree. All right, that was really good though. I liked that a lot. With some pretty good shit. This game looks like it's gonna be a fucking trip. Okay. Okay. I hope you guys are appreciators of parasites and the parasitic. This is isopodacy. Uh, let's get that resolution cranked up a little bit. That's not what I would consider cranked up. But fuck it. No, no, you guys are brain rotted if you think it's isopod -ussy. No, you're trolling me. You don't really believe that. You don't really think that. You're li- Maybe- What the fuck am I? Yeah, you know what? I can't- Yeah. Like a- It looked like a dragonfish? Why do I have like a handle on my tail? Viperfish? Viperfish, I think, is what I am. Maybe. Press A and D to steer. What do you mean to steer? Okay. Hold- Wait, what do you fucking mean enter drift mode? Fuck off. Okay, I guess it's a fucking racing game. Duh. Alright, we're gonna- We're gonna fucking- We're gonna switch lanes, baby. We're, we're skipping the line. Are we driving a fish? We sure are. I guess that's what that handle is actually not a handle at all. That's a spoiler. And we're not talking like Game of Thrones. We're talking about like fucking Subarus. It's a Japanese shrine. I don't think it is. A little passion lip. Okay. This is some very like somber music for what is happening on screen right now supposed to make me think about like the choices that led me up on, on, to this point are these like little cute points of interest or, that I can do things with is there gonna be like a riveting fish drama that I get to partake in am I going to get gamer score achievement points the dev knew exactly what they were doing with the beginning perspective I think so too it did look an awful lot like a like a Johnson. What What is that emote supposed to convey passion? You think I just hug random members of my stream chat? 
pathetic. Me? Wait, hold on, hold on. What the fuck? You guys good? Wait, is this like one of those forest ranger staircases that, that cause you to like lose limbs and shit when you go on top of them? Holy fuck, it's beautiful. Fish also had car parts. Yeah, some sicko made this game. This isn't normal. Would there be a hugging booth at Tolokan? No. I feel like you're larger than you were earlier. I feel like I'm about the same. Okay, well, that's just a normal fellow fish. What are these stoplights, dude? Holy shit. Can I hug myself? Sure. Be the master of your own destiny. No, there's not going to be any breeding at Tolokan. It's not like that. Holy fuck, that tripod's sick. What is this? Huh? Fish have no voices. Don't let your fish spiral out of control. Wake up and come work with us. I'm not entirely sure. Press F to disembark? What do you fucking mean? Okay, so that was my vehicle. I guess I'm an isopod. I see. Fuel your fish with our freshest beers. Keep it fresh. My fish keeps waiting for something. I can't get to work like this. A little feces? Yeah. I must be a big ass isopod, dude. Holy shit, you hearing this? God damn. Feet noise is a little loud. Okay, let me turn it down. Let me see if I can. Let's turn the, the sound down for, for people sensitive to tippy tappies. Well, I just completely got rid of it. Alright. Can you look down? Can you ride other fishies? Maybe. To try to do some Grand Theft ISO. Sassy ass high heels on. Yeah, I kind of like the little pitter patter. I can jump. Like, I have a hard time picturing an isopod jumping into the air. All or nothing? Hold on. Let, let's turn it back up. Maybe we can. There we go. Now it just kind of sounds like a, like a room full of mechanical gnomes gooning. Why are you flipping me, Passion? Hmm? What have I done to deserve this? My favorite, it's ASMR, bro. It's a burgeoning new industry. I'm gonna be on the right side of the future. Can I go in here? I'm torn on like this being completely shallow with nothing to do or it being one of the deepest games ever and that's not a joke about being underneath the water. I'm not sure what, what this is. I want it to be a good time to get a chance to look at the end of the past. Okay, Yeremiah. I think we can. We should be able to squish these things. There will not be a gooning booth at Tolomiocon. You wouldn't hug me? Is that so wrong? Like, not wanting to hug strangers? Where the fuck? So... Something awful is happening. Where's my motherfucking fish? Where? What is this red thing? Okay, but surely we can go in here, right? Look at Matt. I, I am. He's like moving with me. I think that's the icon changing, but it really looks like he's like walking along with me. The truth of reality is not something to find out that you don't know and then you do. It's a road to drive your fish on and it loops. I'm illiterate, by the way. Can you read this? 
Thank you, Canarota, for the 50 months. I appreciate it. I see what I have to do. We have to race. If you don't let us have the breeding pit and gooning booth, we will be forced to do it outside convention center grounds like vagrants. And that's, you're, you know, it's a free motherfucking country. You can do that. There's nothing I can say that will stop it. And that's all right. I'm at peace with that. As long as it's outside of Tolokan. Is Isopod is a racist? Hell yeah, dude. We're going to be one of the best racists the world's ever seen. Mark my words. I'm going to win on the first try. Let's trash the hotel just like Rainforest. I'm not telling you what hotel I'm staying at. You guys can go. Figure it out. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm so sleepy lately. What if I bring my gooning booth from home? You don't have one. Come here, buddy. We got a race. Can I just disembark whenever I want? Heading towards the red. Yeah, that's the little racing thing. I gotta get there, and then we're gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. How are the games tonight? Hmm? I don't know. You have to ask chat. I think they're good. Okay. Is this it? <laughs> Will I be a master fish racist or not? Let's find out. This fish is hot on my ass. My fucking... My dick is throbbing right now. I'm winning so fucking hard, it's unreal. I hope this isn't like some Banjo-Kazooie bullshit. Where it's like fucking dumb whore canary Mary. <laughs> fucking speeds up to 7,000 mile rubber band speeds at the ass end of the race. I'm still mad, like, 20 years later. Fucking bitch should have died in the coal mine. This seems like it's going well. This music is definitely amazing, too. I don't want to hug you if your dick is throbbing. Yeah, dude, like... I don't know what changed, but in like the last couple months, every time, well, never mind. I won't share that information. Oversharing isn't good. So, hold up. There is more to this game because there are 14 achievements. But where? I've gotten two. So there's definitely more shit to find. I'm just not certain where where to go. Can I like hold up? Can I just fucking No? Damn, I was hoping I'd be able to switch vehicles. The fact that they build streets even though fish don't have wheels is pretty funny to me. Yeah, this is like this reminds me of Spongebob in a really weird way. Like, a good version of Spongebob is how I would describe this game. I know that might be offensive to people, but I don't like Spongebob all that much. So it would be good. It would be catering to my tastes, personally and specifically. Good and bad is subjective. Still need lanes? Well, who the fuck gives a shit? I need to find goodies. We need to look for points of interest. We need to be dopamine-addled gamers. Forget exploring a cool world just because it looks nice. We need, like, little trivial tasks to complete so that a number can go up. That's what gaming is. What the fuck is this place? Hello? This 
sick fucking ramp. Can I... Amazing. New car? I don't think we can... We can jack someone else's car, but I can go back and see. Just gotta... Because he says that the fish is waiting for something, right? I'm pretty sure that's what this little guy said. It's a conveyor belt. If not the tongue of a bigger fish, the tongue of my fish is missing. What is a lager? My fish keeps waiting for something. Okay, so they have multiple, uh, multiple lines. So on interact. Okay, let me go and see. See interact on this little fucker. The soda can thing is like an oddly unnerving noise, and I'm not sure why that is. Just such a strange thing to have as a sound effect in a video game. <laughs> it always happens when I move over here, too. What the heck is this? That's a really good fucking question. I wish I could give you a solid answer. I think, uh... We're an isopod who's just jacking onto a fish and, and driving him around. There's like an icon here that denotes a, a point of interest, but I'm not sure what to do. There's a new race since you beat the last one? Maybe. Hey, bud, you wanna... Okay, no, this dude has the same text. Let's go back to the race and see if I can do another one. But hold on, it's getting really hot in my room. I gotta turn the AC on. Smoking in here, dude. I'm melting. Dune 2 isn't streaming until November. Guess I'll visit a theater soon. With how time, how quickly time passes these days, you're gonna like go to bed tonight and it's gonna be November. Like, I was thinking how it's been five years since the Fear and Hunger playthrough. That's a lot of time. Like, Fear and Hunger is now closer to when I started streaming than, uh... Oh, yeah, there is a new race than this point right now. That's really fucking weird to me. It was February 2019. Please, no. Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah, I, I know. Hopefully you all have had a more productive uh, last five years than I have. I'm getting old, bros. Fucking smoke signal retirement home. You got married? Yeah, but that's not... That's not like a productivity thing. Like, that's great and fantastic, but that's not really what I mean. I guess I'm losing weight. Change jobs twice and move three times? Hell yeah. Or maybe hell no, I don't know. Moving kind of blows. I've gotten buff? Fuck yeah, dude. You need to be ripped torn muscle guns, crushing the pink. Oh no. Do you think it's possible to lose the race? Like, look at these fucking stooges. They're trolling. And crushing stink. Well, good for you, dude. Curse of... No, 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 no. No curses of Canary Mary or any of that bullshit. No curse of Little Man. No curse of Banjo. No curse of Sif. Hell yeah, dude. I'm a god. Okay, let's, let's just keep following the map markers like we're playing Skyrim then. Curse of gay? That doesn't work on me. Curse of mobility, Mary? Okay, don't do that one, please. Playing Destiny 2 this year? Fuck yeah, dude. I started playing RuneScape Hardcore this year, so... Okay. Wait! Oh, I thought that dude was cheating. I... 
I thought motherfucker like Dr. Fish respect. Okay. I mean if this is as easy as the last few, we got this. The only hard part is when you're in an intersection, like making the turn quick enough. Okay, this dude's actually on my ass. Oh fuck! I'm getting fished! Okay, 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 okay. Gamer gamer stance up. Dicks up. The last one was only one lap, but it was also like a hundred seconds. What do you fucking mean? I got and I hope I have good isopod insurance. Thank you, Pizza, for gifting a sub to Beanie. All right, I think I am uh, in. Okay, Little Mimus Shift Manager. We are all water enjoyers here. I trust. Let's collect bottles, vine bottles, crumpled bottles, plastic bottles, glass bottles, round bottles, and any other shape of bottles. Yes, those are very good indeed. It is the factory's duty to sort them from the incoming trash, give them to the pelican eels so they can be transported to the main city. The rest will be dumped in this room. What could go wrong? I would be pissed if my boss's name was Little Mimus. Also, what the fuck? Is this like the super vehicle? Yo, let me in, bro. Okay. Got into a fucking traffic accident. Um, how do I do that, bro? Like, see little Mimus card? Oh, did I get like a Steam card for him or something? What do you mean, little Mimus's card? Or am I on drugs? Am I missing the meme? His business card? Oh, okay, okay. Gems are the controller? I couldn't seem to interact with them, but I could go back and try. The drumming of the machines as the factory line progresses ever forward, just like the road from under your fish, but laid out before you. Man, I love the factory. I'm still, like, traumatized from that Undertale, too. Let's collect the fucking cards bullshit. There's, like, an invisible wall here. Oh, no, no. I can press the buttons. Okay. I don't know what the rest of them do. Uh, I think I'm winning, though. This feels really productive right now. Okay, that just stops it then. But why would I want to stop? Am I supposed to only give him bottles? Trash the fish and put to a 9 to 5? Yeah. yeah, I'm a slave now. I'm a factory worker just because I had the audacity to go drifting. So I already fucked up. He's got a ton of trash in his mouth. Motherfucker looks like he's been eaten at Arby's. The top of his mouth also kind of looks like tortured souls. Like ghastly visages of people long past. It doesn't really look like like uh, actual organic tissue at all. But then again, maybe I'm just seeing what I want to see. Okay, so I, 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 I send this off to fucking... Okay, the shift is over, return home. Cool, I think I did a really good job. I think I nailed it. Okay. What about... What about my fish? What happened to my fish, man? Short shift. Has there ever been a game where you have to legitimately do like, a, like an on-the-clock 9-to-5 shift at a factory? I know Desert Bus is a thing, but I mean, like, Work Simulator. Power Washer Simulator maybe is kind of like that, but I... Like, just imagine, like, being an Amazon factory worker in a game for eight hours to get to the content. Where are we going? Is this somewhere exciting? Yeah. 
What are you in? A glass bottle? I'm not certain. Played Power Wash Sim? Yeah, I have. I played it with Autumn. Death Stranding was kind of like the Japanese version of Amazon. Okay, but you're like fighting shadow monsters and shit and going to scenic locales. I don't think that's the same thing. But then again, I don't know what Japanese Amazon is like. Maybe it is the same thing. Is, is Death Stranding just a slice of life? It's just Japan. I think so. Cheese zone, but with a 9 to 5 job sim to unlock the game. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, what if you had a game that was just like a like a full work week of dog shit, but the... And you have to play it. Like, there will be mechanics set to where you have to be attentive. Oh. We want to leave, but once we leave, we want to come back. The place we leave does not want us as much as we don't want the place we leave to. Spitting facts. As grains of sand grinding at the rust-ridden cogs, we slowly sabotage the diseased machine. As the machine crumbles away and its torn pieces lodge in between our body segments, limiting our movement. You shave off the redundant layers. You scrub it till the salt bites into the softness under your shell. But you will never remove the blanket of grime and microplastic the environment wraps you in. The blanket is inside all of us. It is fused into our flesh. It is the inner lining of our biramus pleopods. It is our only loyal companion. When we leave the environment, we leave our companions. But the environment never leaves us. It is always with us, within us. We are the trash factory workers. We are the fish racers. We are the abyss denizens. We feed our vehicles the gift of forgetfulness, and we ride the sand along the bones and wrecks of fallen giants. Beyond the ruse of segregation, the isopod and the fish become one. And under the crushing pressure of the ocean water, ocean of water and salt and oil and waste, we are equal. The hell is happening? I think it's abundantly clear. The slow degradation of the place reflects on the slow degradation of the body. That reflects on the slow degradation of the room. That reflects on the slow degradation of the mind. Take the degradation out of your mind and put it on the conveyor belt. We will take care of the rest. I think it was perfectly clear what it was saying there, not ironically. What exactly is zero cell preservation? Like if some dude runs out into the middle of the road and got like hit in the fucking, f like by a car when he knows there's cars there or a horror game where it's like, oh, I will leave the door unlocked at 12 a.m. after a police officer has told me there is a murderer loose. <laughs> like that kind of shit. I don't know. I haven't, I think that one was new. I don't, I don't think, uh. I don't think that's been there until this stream. Okay. Well, I support us. He, that was about, uh, like, environmentalism as well as the enshittification of everything, basically. How, you know, as we work and our bodies become, like, more and more worn down and our mental becomes worn down and our society becomes worn down and our environment becomes worn down, everything is shitty, so just give your life to work. Is what I took from it, like the little bit about like fallen giants is referring to like oil and gas to power the cars. Um, fallen giants being literal dinosaurs. I think it was actually really like the first couple of slides were like, holy shit. Okay. What the fuck? But after that, it made, it made sense. I think. Okay. Forest. No, no. Fuck the forest of the fallen giants. That place sucks ass. This game is called Barbatine. Okay, this game is fucking sick as hell already. I can already tell this game is amazing. Let me know how the volume is. We're currently having a party. Little low. Okay, let me turn that bitch up. Well, these two look like they're having a good time. She doesn't seem all that into them. PS5 
PS1 wireless controllers. Holy shit, those are some big fucking pizza boxes, dude. Good god, this party's banging. Okay, the green outline means I can interact. It's a big ass jug of fucking orange soda pop, too. Hey man, can you grab me a beer? Okay, we're the surf. We're the we're the fucking little bitch. We got invited here to get everybody else beers. Excellent. I mean, I, I don't have fucking law rooms for telegraph. Let me through, assholes. Okay. Oh. Hey, how have you been? We're getting it, dude. We're getting it. We're getting laid. Um, I'm feeling right now. Fuck you! A wretch just wretched on me. What a fucking... Okay. Alright, bro. Here's your beer. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Wow, dude. Okay, I'm good at this game. Day two. Oh, I got some sick-ass wizard pajamas. Wait. My hands look old. Am I like a fucking... Like, 90-year-old geezer inviting, like, college frat people to, to my house for a party. Also, what the fuck is, uh... Kind of looks like there's something under there. Damn, I got a PS1 in every room of the house. Hell yeah. Sif, stop making grumble pig noises. Okay, we're in a different one. I guess we were in someone else's. What's he gonna do with all those beans? Gamer house? Well, shit, it's a house, right? Better than nothing? British? Okay, we need to be nicer to the British, I think. Like, we bully the British way too much. What am I gonna do with the water? No? Which house are we in? I think I'm in my house. Not the party house, but my house. Have you gone soft? No. Okay, we completed day two. Oh. Holy shit. Am I like Justin Trudeau? Am I... Like, are we in Canada right now? And like, the, the... Before he became the Prime Minister? We, is this the, that kind of game? Alright. I can dig it. This is like a prequel. Spray tan's getting everywhere. Third time's the charm. Should have showered. Dude, imagine how fucking sick it would be if you went without showering and you started accumulating that level of grime. Oh. Oh, holy shit. That's pretty cool. The working mirror and the fact that I'm like a fucked up flesh horror wearing like star pajamas. I think it's got, like, the little butt hatch. Oh, wow. I guess I shed my skin. Maybe I'm actually... You know what? I take it back. I'm not the Prime Minister of Canada. I must be Ted Cruz. It must be shedding season. Hello, Roiland. Oh, good. This seems like a nice place. Long as you've gone without a shower. God. Um, when I was a teenager, like, when I first hit puberty, I would go, like, long times without showers. Like, a week or more, admittedly. It was really gross. I'm not proud of it. Since I was, like, uh, like, probably around, like, 15, never more than, like, two or three days. I really get, like, grossly uncomfortable if I go longer than a day without a shower. Like, it really bothers my hair. It, my scalp feels, like, uncomfortable. Um, I usually shower every other day. Unless I do something like, if I go outside and actually get dirty, then I'll shower multiple days in a row, but that's not usually the case. Although, uh, at this point, I mostly take baths. I'm kind of, like, I really enjoy just kind of, like, turning the lights off, getting a nice fucking scented candle, like, having my balls float up in the fucking water and just kicking it, you know? It's a good feeling. Oh, holy 
shit. Worm game? Nice to sit. Yeah, yeah, just relax. Just hang out. Like, it's very good at, like, just putting you in a much better mood. Like, if you're super stressed, just, like, fucking run the, like, boiling hot water. Boil yourself like a little fucking crawdaddy and, you know, kick it with the candles. That's why you don't eat gas station sushi. I need to try that one day. I've always wanted parasites. Mirror? Oh, yeah, you're right. I should look at the mirror. Nobody... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I've never heard the term... Girl rot. What? That's not real, is it? that term yet. It's a new one for me, too. Oh, hey. So, are we cool? Any fungus up in there? That's kind of... No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Wait. I've seen this fucking meme image. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I see you. This is like a reversal. Roll reversal. Usually it's the other way around. Usually, you know, there's only supposed to be one of you motherfuckers. Oh, come on. Dude. Okay, okay, that one move. We can go, we can go into the basement. You stay the fuck up here, okay? We're just continuing to dig our own hole deeper and deeper. I really like the animations for these little tendrils. It's like such a nice detail. Okay, that was day four. Oh good, we've got little pustules now. Eggs, perhaps? Wow, the house has continued to degrade, but at least the flat... That's thats a cabinet. I don't think that's a flat screen. The PS1 is still good. That's what matters. What happens if you don't take a shower every day? Only if you're doing, like, nasty shit. Like, I feel like, um... If you go out and, like, work... Let's say construction or, you know anything that's even remotely like manual labor then you probably should shower every day but when you're just like a stupid piece of shit like me that just sits all day you know just make sure you really clean and put deodorant on and you're good for two days in a row throw that shit in a pan pop the pustules for extra bra is actually well it's not so much that showering is bad it's like shampooing your hair specifically right but like, you can shower and Get the grime off without shampooing your hair if your hair's not dirty. You're just not supposed to completely fuck your, your hair with sulfates every day. It dries out all your skin, too. I feel like I've got some nice-ass soft skin, though. But I guess I don't shower every day. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I feel contempt with my skin. See, even if you work in an office, you should still shower daily. I understand why people think that, but I really, I don't know. Probably happens if you roll around in a dumpster. When I was a teenager, yes, I needed to shower every day, but now I think I'm chilling. Don't really produce an excessive amount of oil or anything like that. Hey bud, he's gonna ask me to give me a beer. You know you can't do that until you look at yourself. Okay, so we gotta go back to the mirror. Keep 
time daily? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't shower daily, just like every other day works for me. Woke up too early, now I'm going in to suffer. I'm, I woke up too early, now I'm going to suffer at work tomorrow. I'm sorry, dog. Need to take a power nap. I don't wash my hair every day. Zero issues with hair or dry skin. Y'all are gust built inferior. I guess it depends on what your definition of inferior is. Wouldn't like the superior thing be the one that requires less upkeep, not more? So if you've got fine skin and only shower like every other day, that's superior, right? Y'all motherfuckers say you need to shower every day, but I never need to shower? I don't know about never needing to shower. That sounds sort of like some, some weird shit to me, brother. I'm not gonna lie. Get ready, they're coming for you. Right click, stun enemy. Okay, okay. it's combat, all right. Wait, I literally fucked them with my, with my, my truck. Okay, I can do that. This is a neat tutorial. It's showing me, like... I see. Okay. Corner, 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 corner. You don't want to be in a wide-ass open room where you can't see anything and you can get fucked from several positions. We're going corner missionary style. All right, I hear you, you freak. It's like right after they attack. Like, you gotta get them to whiff. Okay. Just gotta hit them with the truck, baby. I'm fucking whiffed. Timing was right, but I missed. Okay, you gotta be pretty close. Alright, this is pretty fucking sick, dude. Wait. I'm hoping that's just like crazy ragdoll physics and they're not reassembling themselves. Can you sidestep them? Maybe. to parry? Oh, well, I didn't parry. Like, the reason I didn't parry wasn't because I sucked at it. It's just because it was too easy. At least in Souls. Not so much for other games. But in, like, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, I think one of the only bosses I actually dominated was the one that is, like, considered the parry tutorial which is not soon. I fucked Monsoon up, dude. I just like kind of shambling around and having them whiff and hitting them in the ass. That's my preferred lazy gaming play style. Okay, three out of five. That means there's two in this room, so I gotta be careful. Can I get the double? Okay, okay, we're both whiffing it through the glass. Usually when I fuck it up now, it's because I'm not, I'm not close enough. Not that time, I just missed time that one. Amazing. Any unhinged messages for today? Not really. There's almost never anything unhinged here. Like, we're just like a normal group of motherfuckers kicking in. Oh. Oh god. This game's sick as fuck. I really like the way this feels. Very hinged, yeah. A lot of people were talking about an isopod -ussy. Yeah, I guess that's true. Reminds me of primary school. Hit. 
God damn it, why do they got- I know why there's three, it's because I fucked it up. truck. I'm slow as a fucking dick in some Cooler, Matt! I'm gonna truck him. Oh god, where the fuck am I? Four out of fifteen, okay. It? I thought there were going to be a shit ton of them in here. Okay. It's a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, hold on. I keep whiffing that one. I have the timing mostly down, but the range is still fucking me sometimes. Good? Brother. Dang. Okay, well that's unfortunate. I hope that doesn't mean I'm fucked. They respect you now, you think so? I doubt it. Those flower-headed fucks will never respect anyone but their own their own bullshit. My husband went to sleep. Someone drive to Pennsylvania and show me funny large cat videos. I'm sure someone will link you funny cat videos. I don't know if they're gonna drive all the way fucking to Timbuktu, but. Screenshots of like botanical stuff. So I knew it was gonna get freaky, but I didn't think uh, it was gonna be quite this compelling. I'm just fucking lost. Am I? Am I? Am I fucked? I must simply be blind. Part of me wants to see what happens if I fall down those, those vents. It doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like it's gonna lead anywhere productive to me. Oh, okay, yeah. There's like this little fucking. There's been a few rooms like that where it's like this little thing in the corner, basically. Okay. There's 
one left and it must be the one on the stairs. at the crack stash. I don't know if I found that though. Hey ladies! Oh, this is the room I was in. I have no idea where the last guy is then. Fucking Vanish. Playing is like a roach, and I'm pretty sure I'm playing as an old dude. Dang, I hope it didn't bug. I cannot find this guy. Okay, well, maybe it'll be kind and let us in with only, uh. Hearing the frog, maybe. Oh, oh. He was trying to kick me down there, Sparta style, but I'm I'm too I'm too good for that. And now it's just a normal day. I guess I took my medicine. Thank you for playing Barbatine. You're welcome. That was a really cool game. Post shower? Yeah, we got all that stank off. That was sick. Yeah, I really like that. I would I would enjoy playing an extended version of that with more enemies. I like the combat system. I like the design. Pretty good shit. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Uh-oh. It would be kind of cool if it looped you back to day one, except everyone was a tentacle monster. Alright. Good shit. Very good shit, brothers. Can you get to the mirror here? Oh, I... Oops. Teehee. Maybe she'll vomit in the other direction. Did I get all of the achievements for that? Yeah, I got 11 out of 11 achievements, so I think I won. What is it from? Well, that was fucking loud. Uh, good morning, I'm sorry, but I need to show you what the game showed me. It's important that you see this. I'm sorry it wasn't captured. Your system has been compromised. Your files are now at risk of being erased. Thank fucking God. Erase RuneScape first. Please. <laughs> Please. Get rid of that one first, dude. Thank you, Cat Triangle, for the 25-month resub. I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Arrow tells me to go that way. I don't really want to go that way, but it seems I have no choice. So, this is made by the same guy who made those Mushy's Kitchen games. Thank you, KV Amel Zero, for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Really? Yeah, I, I know. It's surprising, right? Like, that doesn't seem like... Uh, Th it would be developed by that that guy. This is kind of out of the left field for him. Smooth camera. Is the camera fucked up? It's is, If it's fucked up, it's on OBS's end. It's not really messing up for me. I already don't like this here. Get ready for jump scares. This is going to have them. Um...
This game's gonna be fucking awful, isn't it? Maybe it'll be really good. Maybe it'll be really, really good. This is scary, you think so? What if it was like a virus that managed, like it would, what if it deleted itself? Like if it was truly randomly deleting files, what if it accidentally deleted something it needed and fucked itself? I wait with bated breath. No maze, it's not really a maze. It's like a linear path. All of the, all of the little offshoots just fucking are, are very quick dead ends, except for this one, I guess. Should probably follow the fucking arrows, huh? Who are baiting their breath? Oh my god, me. Dude, you know what sounds fucking delicious right now? Quadruple, quintuple. Dude, I have been hungry caterpillar mode. I've been so fucking... It's 171, by the way. Two more pounds to go. But goddamn. Goddamn, dude. Well, no, more than two pounds. But to get below 170, I want to get to 160. That would be a good place to stop. Just 10 fucking more pounds, 11 more pounds. But I'm so hungry. All of the fucking time. I think I got mugs. I was wearing the nice rat lady hoodie. Probably. I'm working out? No, I've been eating less. I'm going to be recovering fat forever, dude. You weigh less than I do. I would hope so. You work out, right? You go to the gym and shit. How much weight did you start? Last summer, I was like just under 210 pounds. Okay, well, what, there's an exclamation point, but who gives a shit? Okay, a gift will be on this table waiting for you once you enter the needed information at the computer. Your new pal. Okay. Oh, fuck, okay. In order to get your gift, you must enter out the following details. Thank you, Shabby D, for the 67 months. I appreciate it. Um, All right, it's perfect, right? Can you write my details too? Yeah. Oh. Dang. Well. I, I, what? Where's the fucking reset switch? Am I on drugs? More games need credit card entry? Just play Fortnite, bro. Play against an impact. This shit probably has pop-ups. Uh-oh, hold on. One gift? Yes, you want? I do. Yes. Yes. Very yes. Please. Please. All right, fellas. I'm not seeing this reset switch. Honestly, play RuneScape 3 if you're not an Iron Man. Like, there's so many fucking microtransactions in that game. It's disgusting. It's the worst part of that game, easily. Okay, well. Guess I'm not getting that gift. Reset switch. Okay, okay, okay. We're, mo we're making huge moves right now. All right, we need to check to see if there's any molesters on the sides. Yippee. You think this is gonna be like... You think this is building up to something worthwhile, guys? I'm 
Yes, no. Okay, yeah, let's do it. It means you can't trade and stuff, Lip, yeah. Oh, I guess we got our gift. I'm gonna say something fucked up, okay. Makes me think of a Vetus game. I don't think that's fucked up. I think that's a fairly reasonable statement so far. Scream in three, two, one. Okay, not this time. Is that early 2010s? Yeah, it's like an old Vetus game. They're a lot different from the new ones. The new ones are actually way better, if you can believe it. I know that's hard to fathom. Wear a gift! What if... Okay... Hear me out on this. What if you actually got like a successful uh, transaction? It would take like $5 out and then it would be the best game ever as a reward for trusting the death. It would literally be like the, the second coming of Christ. Uh, yeah, li living Jesus. What if this is all a front for something way better? Try it? No. I'm not fucking doing that. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck? Do you want the gift? This might be the best game of the night. Like, it's a little early to say, but this is looking like a masterpiece winner at the moment. Like, holy shit. I'm getting chills right now. Up and down my back on my frenulum, both frenulums. I'm sure they have Grelix. Put like a fucking shitty like, prepaid visa in it and it would be fine. This guy makes pretty good games. Well, de depends on what you mean by good, but like, there's something more to this. I have faith. I have faith. Trust, trust. This is going to be so sick. A rare miss? No, dude, it just seems like a miss. It's like when you shoot at your wife and the bullet whizzes right past her head and she's like you missed asshole and you say no i didn't and you realize and she realizes that you shot the murderous gnome behind her who is about to kill her you just gotta let it play out Hello, Max. What's up, dude? Did you like Muzi? I saw you, or I heard you played that. I wasn't there, but someone in chat told me you had played it. Moment later, I remember I don't have a wife. Yeah, and you don't have a computer, and you don't even know what a video game is. I'm coming for you. Is that the present? Are we going to get like a, like a fucking Dilf shake? Hell yeah, brother. Getting whacked by a funny bunny felt good. Yeah, I like how they'd like pick you up and punch the shit out of you. Three, two, one. Eh.
All right, let's do it. Yell at me. Yell at me, bro. Some people just make a bad release and it feels like encountering a shiny Pokemon. Oh, we did it, dude. Misa, thank you. Thank you, Misa. Yeah, it was really good, right? I enjoyed that one a lot, too. What's the present? What's the present? There is no gift, Halome. You have been scammed? What? Your personal information belongs to us. What? We will keep an eye on you. Did Mama Max make this game? What the fuck is this shit? Have a nice day. Thanks, you too, bitch. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> that sucked. What the fuck was that? It was terrible. What the fuck is... Mushi, what happened? Epic jump scare? Yeah, that one was... You know. Well, shit, I can't end on that. God damn it. We gotta play RuneScape 3. Haha, <laughs> yes. Intro sound literally warned you. The game sure does exist. Alright. This one, Windows Defender doesn't want me to run this one, so you can be you can be confident that this is a virus. So let's play it. All right, this one's... Misa might not want to watch this one. This one looks like it's got a lot going on visually. All righty. Okay, okay. Level 2 under construction. Let's do it, baby. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is... Um... Fuck yeah, dude. Cruelty Squad vibes? Yeah, I think it's clearly inspired by it. No sound? Is there no sound? Well, I, I turned it the fuck down, so, uh... No, it actually has really good sound. Okay, okay, okay. Got a grenade. Got a frag grenade. Oh, shit. Okay, where are the enemies at? I want to shoot someone. Let me pop off. I want to go gorilla mode. Okay, I got a stim inject. I like how there's like the game lags when you shoot someone. That's a good feature. Oh, shit. Who the hell is firing at me? Damn, I'm getting my ass whooped. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. Holy fuck. Let's go a different direction this time. I got completely demolished there. Save this impact. There's one back here if I need it. This is what acid looks like? Maybe. Okay. Headshot damage actually matters here. Oh, I, I'm not sure I should have killed that one. Fuck! This shit's training me to be a cop! God damn it, are there any cribs? Like, do I need fucking flashbangs? Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Maybe a different gun for this video. Oh, fuck. Damn, I'm at, uh... Ugh! HP right now. I gotta go get a heal. I don't know what the... Is that 80? I think it's supposed to be 80, but it kind of looks like two fucked up, uh... Zeros to me. Wait, was that not a heal? Fuck me, okay. 
Ever download Red Mountain Radio with Dagoth Thurs, the host? No, no. I The things I put on the radio are all terrible. Like, the worst shit imaginable. Like, nobody would actually enjoy listening to it unless they were fucked. It would be pretty cool if it wasn't deep fried. It's cool because it's deep fried, man. It's like going to the fucking Texas State Fair and be like, man, these fucking these deep fried Oreos are deep fried. Okay, okay. Hello? Thank you, Cat's Hotel, for the resub. I appreciate it, dog. How are you? Is the equivalent to loud equals funny? I actually kind of like the way this looks. Does that make me pathetic? I guess so. I don't like the skybox. The skybox is a little too, like, holy shit, that hurts my eyes. But the rest of it is fine. I don't, I don't really have a, a problem with anything else. Fine, how are you? I'm chilling. What is this shit? Is it raid? Oh, my bad, my bad. Thank you for the raid. I'm, I have a lot of trouble with these sorts of games, especially talking and reading chat. I'm not very good at shooters, so I have to be like 95% into the game or I'm just gonna eat shit and never get anywhere. Game are we playing? This is C A or U A S. Sorry, I wanted to say C A C, and that would have been CAC. So maybe I'm just got CAC on the mind. I'm not particularly trusting of this water. I don't know if I want to take a dip. Shotgun? Yeah, I mean I have a shotgun, but I feel like uh, just doing little bitch shots from across the room. Oh, I can kick? You played this before? No, I haven't. I played something that looks really similar, but I haven't played this. What the fuck? Hello? Ready for the big family gathering? How do you clean between your toes? I never- I can never seem to get all the gunk out. Like that, bitch. Fuck you. I should've kicked her. What was I doing? I should've made like a fucked up donkey noise. Fucking- Hee-haw! Just kick that bitch. I'm trolling, dude. Okay. I think we cleared this building out. It's hard to tell- Oh, fuck. Where I have and haven't been. You guys are fucking fast. Oh, have I been in here? I guess I've missed this part. These guys have hella accuracy. They're like the opposite of me. Jake reminds me of Angerfoot. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good game too. Okay, we're in fucking mozzarella cheese land now. This is where I need to be. Okay. Maybe we'll find that green key here. Oh no, no, we gotta... Something. I don't know what the fuck that was. These look like the fucking Super Mario 64 crates. These right here. Question mark? No, you... The gray ones with the red trim. You don't remember those? Am I on drugs? Hold on, let me see. One's the No, no, hold on. I might be on drugs. 
Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Um, hold on. I now I'm gonna go crazy if I don't find like an image of this shit. Okay, this is the best picture I can fucking find, and it's not very good. These right here. Like you can see it on the bottom. Obviously, like, the color's different, but, like, the gray with the red trim is what I mean. Okay. Let's get back into it. What the fuck you mean I can't kick the vases? Maybe. I don't want to waste ammo, though, dog. That ain't me. Can I... Okay, okay. I like the level design in this. How, how it's uh, not linear. Everything's just kind of in... It's open-ended to an extent. I've been wanting to play Turok Dinosaur Hunter recently. I got, like, the, the hair up my ass to play that shit again. Seeds of Evil, too. Some of my favorite FPS games. Okay, okay. What the fuck? I've got... Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Now this is my speed. Bitrate dies when you go through this hallway? That's okay. That is alright. Damn, we're in the skull room. This part also kind of reminds me a little bit of Crypt World, the original one. The fuck? I guess that's body armor. The fuck? I'm trolling. Got models or niceness? Yeah, it's like surprisingly high quality despite, you know... <laughs> The fact that it's not very high quality at all in terms of the textures. Okay. Will I ever find that green key? Probably not. Can I get out on the roof here? Looks like I can. Is there like any fucked up places I could get to by humping these walls? I also really enjoy how they simulate the bobbing of the gun. It's just like one of those stupid little dancing anime emotes where it just bobs up and down. We need to go straight. We need to go on the straight path. Oh, I guess I can't. I'm not thin enough, dude. See, if I was under 170 pounds, I'd be able to get through that. God fucking damn it. Oh, hey, another one. VTubers jumping on dick? Yeah, I guess so. It's always what those have kind of looked like to me, too. But maybe I'm just a hate of mans. What if you stream the Sal Park FPS? Uh, well, uh, you know. What if? I've never played a South Park game. I've never really watched a lot of South Park, either. Okay. They said level two was... Yeah, it's under construction. All right. So I think we... You know, the visual nightmare, the eye searing is over. Misa, are you still here? Misa Coco. Paging Misa Coco. I will only play the next game if Misa Coco... Okay, you're still here. I, I know that one was rough. So I'm going to play one that's quote-unquote Misa pilled next for you, all right? Do one more your speed. I think we've gotten through the main gauntlet, so we can play one that might end up being a little on the longer side. Alrighty. Let me get this captured. Launch RuneScape? The fuck does that mean? You'll you'll understand when you see it. This is Crow Scare, everybody. Actually, let me let me do this. Let me capture it in a different uh, scene.
This game contains themes and depictions of the following. Blood and gore. Implied child abuse. Extreme violence towards child characters. Implied potential child death. Discretion is advised. Press space or enter to continue me some build. <laughs> no, no, it'll make sense. I didn't know about all this shit. I, I, I swear, I swear. No, it's the way the game looks. I swear that's not what it's about. I think that's all I need you to do right now. Pick out the biggest pumpkins in the southeast patch, chase away all the birds, and check on Haley. After that, come talk to me again to figure out what to do next. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna... Dad? Huh? Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit here and rest. I have to save my energy for the Harvest Festival after all. Come on. You can't even spare a little magic for me just this once. Sorry, Rio. You know I have to save my energy. If I spend it all helping with the farm, I'd have none left for the Harvest Festival. But you're my little champion. You can handle it, right? Unless... Uh-huh. No. Yeah. I am the champion. I can totally do it. I've done it before. You can count on me, Dad. I'll do a lightning fast faster than you can cast any spell of yours. I thought so. If you need help remembering what to do, just come back and ask me. Or you could write it down in that journal I got you. I haven't seen you use this since I gave it to you. Why would I write it down when I have you right here? All right, all right, fair. Either way, I'll be waiting right here. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be moving very far, but I'll get it done now. Good boy, I have another chore for you after. Okay, let's get on with it. Can I just save whenever I want? Fuck yeah, dude. A bale of hay. So, um... I don't remember what he told me to do. Does that make me a terrible person? Do I have to pick the big pumpkins? Yep. Uh, thank you, Pizzly, for the 25-month resub. Thank you, thank you. I guess I gotta get the yellow ones, too. Is that an impaled human? I didn't see it. We can go and check. Oh, no, Haley. Have the birds been picking out all your straw again? Don't worry, I'll fix you up. All better. Oh, Haley, you're not a very good scarecrow, are you? What else do I have to do? Uh... Wow, dude, I'm absolutely dominating this game. Holy shit, can you believe it? This has brony energy. Well, don't be so hasty to judge, you know? People really like this game, so... In fact, I'm sure many of you have probably seen this before. Maybe. Oh. There... I met plenty of talking birds before, I just... Why are you hanging around my farm acting all shady? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Look, kid, I'm trying to help you. Something bad is coming. Huh? What is? You're looking forward to that harvest festival, right? Yeah. Why? Someone wants to ruin it for you. Worse than you can imagine, but I think if you're careful, you can make sure it turns out okay. Uh, all right. Why are you telling me this, though? Because kids like you are the ones who need a better understanding of dangerous situations. But hell, even some adults can't recognize that some birds are too big to scare. But you're just a little bird. Shut up. But keep your eye out, kid, and stay away from the forest, all right? Okay. The rest of them are... Little bitches. I'm just roaring at them and they're running off. That's all the birds. Is there anything else I have to do? Actually, I think that's it. I should go tell Dad I'm all done. Dad? Dad? I finished everything. The music's a tiny bit loud. All right. You're so fast, I knew I could count on you. What do you need me to do now? Here, I packaged some mini pumpkins for you to bring to the library. They want to decorate the windowsills with them. You know how to get there, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. All right. So we got to go to the library to deliver pumpkins. It's got yellow pumpkins outside. Lickety split. Tile the librarian. What, what do you mean? Like, where the fuck? 
Oh, can I go off to the side? Wait a minute. Dad kinda hot? Oh, I guess you can go down here, too. Why is there, like, a cat Neko waifu here? A statue dedicated to the goddess Luciana. Luciana's a goddess of nature. On harvest night, her chalice is said to fill itself with moonlight. Okay. Moonlight is what we're calling it now, huh? Look at these fucking freaks. Oh, God. It's always good to see you again, Riel. Embry, oh, hi, Rio. Nice outfit. You look... What's it called? Sharp. Thank you. I picked it myself. You've got great taste, Mrs. Oliver. Hello there, Ryu. How is... Rio, how is your father doing? He's good. We're preparing for the Harvest Festival. Is that why you guys are in town? No. We were just passing through, but since the festival's happening, we're probably going to stay in town for a few days. I see your... With your mom and Dr. D. Is that what your mom calls him? Holy shit. Okay. Where's dad at? Yes, he's not with dad. She's with Dr. D. Okay. Dad is looking for someone who can fix the cart. It broke down as soon as we entered town. But at least we all have the festival to look forward to while we wait for it to get fixed. Okay. <sighs> Gee, how- <laughs> He even said, how come you get to have three parents? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. I'm just lucky, I guess. Yeah, really lucky. Rio, did you say something? I'm just thinking to myself. I'll see you guys at the festival. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, man. No way, you two. It was the strangest thing. A small blackbird telling me to steer clear of the woods. All right, so we only need to talk to the ones with the big old googly eyes. These two are always up to something. Necrotary? What? Wait, wait, wait. Necrotary? Well, how do you pronounce that name? Hi, Rio. Oh, d ignore that. Holy shit! What is that thing, dude? It's so good to see you out and about. Hello, Miss Mafuma. I like your sweater. Thank you, you're such a sweetheart. Rio, Rio, we were just about to get dinner. Do you want to come with? You're always welcome to join us, you know. Sounds nice, but uh, I'm running chores. What is that face? Can he just do it himself? I want you to come eat with us. Okay, she wants me. Not during harvest festival season. Dad, uh, he, uh, you know, he can't walk. Wait, for reals? I thought you knew. That's why he, uh, he's always floating when you see him. I thought he just did that for fun. Nope, he uses some weird levitation magic. Whenever the Harvest Festival rolls around, he saves up all his magic energy to make a fireworks show for everyone. He doesn't move around much to save up as much magic as possible. Uh-huh. So he basically does like a huge firework cocky and wastes the entire year saving up for the big burst. That's where I come in. I always help him so he doesn't gotta strain himself or nothing. That makes sense, I think, but we'll still get to play together during the Harvest Festival, right? Yeah, of course. I'm really excited this is actually going to be my first one. No way. Really? Don't you, like, live here? How come you never went to one before? Isn't it, like, a yearly thing? I'm always in bed by sunset. That does seem a little early, I know, but farm work is tiring. Plus, Dad says the nighttime can be dangerous. But he's also been saying he thinks I'm strong enough to handle any dangers at night now. So I'm really excited to be outside during the night time and for the Harvest Festival, too. Oh, man, they're verbose. Oh, excuse me. Okay, library. Thank you again, Rio. No problem. Oh. I was gonna say, I was expecting the librarian the dad wanted to say hi to was like some sexually attractive character or rather something they they think is a sexually attractive character 
The sky looks so pretty. I can't wait until I can watch the entire sunset. It truly is a sight to behold. After the Harvest Festival is over, you can sit here and watch it with me every evening if you'd like. That sounds nice. Do I really have to wait until the Harvest Festival though? Can't I just watch the whole sunset with you right now? Good save? Well, no, not really. Like, it's clear that this is meant to be like an attractive character, but I think uh, anyone outside of DeviantArt isn't really going to find it attractive, even if it's meant to be. Same with the, the lady with the sweater back there. I want your life to be full of as many special memories as possible, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. How was your trip into town today? Did the library take, or did the library like the pumpkins? Oh yeah, they loved that. And you'll never guess I saw both Embry and Necro, Necrotary? How would you pronounce that? Necrotary? 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 Neclotilda? Necro arc. Really now, how wonderful. Tell me about it. Embry was out with their mom and Dr. D. Oh, how is their mother doing? That's funny. She asked the same thing about you. Ha! <laughs> She's fucking him too! Come on! It turns out three parents, you got four. Good grief. They were passing through town, but their car broke down. But while it's getting fixed, they're going to stay in town for the festival. That's wonderful. Well, not that their car broke, I suppose, but I'm happy you'll be able to spend time with them again. Embry's so cool, I love him. Wait! What if Embry is actually, um... How do I put this? What if, uh, I have more in common with Embry than I think? You picking up what I'm putting down? Incest? Y yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was out with her mom too. They invited me to dinner, but I told them you needed help here. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I would have let you go with them. You're good about getting home on time. I know, but... I like eating dinner with you too, Dad. That's sweet. You're a sweet kid. Um, Dad? Can I ask you something? Of course. Seeing everyone out with their moms today, I was just wondering, are you ever going to tell me about Mom? Rio. We've discussed this before, haven't we? You don't have a mom. I made you from straw, magic, and a lock of my hair. I'm a literal golem, okay. Why, the only difference between you and Haley over there is that you can talk. That's a nice thing to say to your son. That's what you always say. Do you really think I believe that? Everyone may call you powerful, but even I don't think you can pull off magic like that. I never, 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 ever heard of anyone bringing someone to life through magic. Haha, ha, you think I can't do it? If you can, then show me. I want to see you do it. No thanks. One kid is enough for me. Um, is there anything else you need done before the sun is finished setting? Okay. I could spare a little bit to go into the woods for an hour. I could get them for you, Dad. That way you don't have to worry about it. There's rumors of an evil witch who lives in the woods. I hear she's... That's the mom. That's the mom. 100%. That's the mom. Yeah, right. I bet that evil witch people talk... I bet that evil witch people talk about is just you. Don't make jokes like that, Rio. Uh, sorry, Dad. I didn't mean it. Really, don't worry about it. I can get them tomorrow. It's fine. Okay. And... I love you. Pfft, I love you too, Dad. It's almost time for bed now. Why don't we go inside? I'll have other stuff for you to do tomorrow. Okay. Dad's asleep. I can totally go get those mushrooms. Dad's been saying himself that I've grown up strong enough to handle any dangerous things at night. I bet he'll be extra impressed by me if I show him that I can go get the mushrooms on my own and he won't have to waste any of his magic either. It's weird that we're making plays for father's semen retention. The forest is right next to the house, so even if I get a little lost, I don't think I'll be too far from home. Now all I need is a lantern. Okay. Huh? 
hot. He, apparently, the dad is a homebody that does nothing, so he can save up as much magic as possible for a fireworks show. Whoa. This is the night? It feels so weird. If it's night, then that up there must be the moon. Yeah, there sure is the moon. Oh, Goku? Huh? Ah! What is this? My hands! This thread! What happened to me? Dad? Dad really... He really was telling the truth, huh? He knew that if I went out at night, I'd see that. I really am a scarecrow, but I don't understand. Dad, he always told me I was a scarecrow, even when I didn't believe it. When I thought he was just kidding. So, if this was never really meant to be a secret, why was I never allowed to go out at night? It's weird. You realize that the other thing is still white, right? I don't think you're a scarecrow, little homie. Okay. Some other bullshit. Hello? Oh, I'm at the top. That's weird. Huh? What was that noise? That was me? I didn't even feel it. I really am just all straw, huh? I see. This must be why I wasn't allowed out. If this tear was any bigger, my whole leg might empty out. No, it's okay. Dad was going to start letting me go out at night for the Harvest Festival anyways. Mm-hmm. Okay. Game's a little too verbose sometimes. Is this how you develop a chussy? Maybe. Where's this witch? Is this like a satchel? I see a fence. God damn it, where's the witch at? Don't stay in the woods too long. She's outside more than you think. I'm getting scared of what's going to happen to the Scarecrow Boy. Well, don't worry, dude. I probably won't even get caught once. A dangerous witch lives beyond this point. So I guess we came here for mushrooms. As much as I want to go visit this nasty old lady, shrooms are our goal at the moment. But I don't think I've seen any just quite yet. Here we go. Got him. That wasn't too hard at all. Og, what was that? It sounded like a tree fell. Well, I got what I needed. I'll just go home then. Looks like you found the mushrooms. Looks like you found them before I did. We could have just went looking together, you know? Can you just take your mushrooms and go home already? I am. Jeez. Okay. I want to go visit the witch. The bird is a guardian? Maybe. Maybe the bird is the witch. Oh, no. That noise. The trunk fell? How am I going to get back home now? Now, what's this? Who was that? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's about what I expected. A little scarecrow boy, that's no. Kind of looks like the dad, a little bit. Got that long, dark hair. But please don't eat me. I'm nothing but straw. And he can't go back the way he came through. No path to return to in cases like these. I think a bridge will do. There you go. It's my mom for sure. Or my dad. I haven't decided yet. That must be it. Like, he must be... The reason he doesn't want, like, this little fucker going outside is because he doesn't want to be revealed that he's not at home at night. And he's, like, gallivanting around the woods in, you know, women's underwear. There's nothing wrong with that, but, like... I don't know what the fuck... Like, it's, it's, it's even got the thing, like, for the mask. 
Good morning, son. Good news. Turns out I don't have to go looking for mushrooms today after all. When I was checking through the cabinets today, I saw some right in front. I was certain we had run out, but I suppose I was just overlooking things. Oh yeah, silly dad. You just weren't looking hard enough, haha. -ha. They are the mushrooms you needed too, right? Okay. What do you need me to do today? Hay bales, small piles of hay in the northwest field, chase away some more birds and check on Haley. Okay. Let's get it. If this game was good, it would be the dad. Well, we'll find out. Like, he did take umbrage with us saying that he was the witch. He definitely didn't like that. It's just, the question is, why did he not like that? It was real stupid what you did last night, kid. Do you have a death wish? Are you talking about the witch? Is that who you wanted to warn me about the other day? Because you didn't need to. She was nice to me. She helped me get back home. That's because you didn't have anything she wanted. You were only straw and fabric. No use in killing a stupid scarecrow. Of course you don't. Because you're just a kid. So be a good kid and don't sneak out at night anymore. I'm an expert at this shit after playing that kitten game in Undertale 2. We have to talk to Haley. All your straws in place, but I'll see you later, Haley. What else did I have to do? Actually, I think that's everything. Ultimate pet collector? Yeah, baby. You know what's up. Fucking god gamer. Can you tell me about the witch who lives in the forest? I'm sorry. Did mentioning it the other day scare you? You don't have anything to worry about. Even though we live quite near the forest, you can't get near here or the town. Really? Why is that? That witch you see, she isn't just a witch, she's a crow, too. The dad is my dad, my pet bird, and my mom. At the same time. That's why we have so many scarecrows, don't you know? They help ward off evil spirits, including nasty old crows. Really? Then how come I always gotta chase the birds away myself? Because that's because you're the best scarecrow there is. I am pretty great. It really is a witch then who lives in the woods and we're sure she's evil. Well, if she's good, I wouldn't know it. I've never seen her myself, if you can believe that. Maybe she really is just an old wives tale. Or maybe it just means we have no mirrors in the house. You aren't worried about it, are you? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I've never seen her before either. So I guess everything's the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It's all right, I have a few extra errands for you. Okay. I hope this is where it picks up. I was told there was going to be like extreme, uh, you know, extreme topics that needed a trigger warning. So, it's this way, right? Yeah, it has to be. I'm sure I'll make it there soon. Fire will not burn our bridges. Fire will bring them together. What do you mean nothing happens, Playa? Do I have to cut myself for straw? Or is it just like an order thing? Okay, that's kind of... Witch must really love bridges. A bridge witch. A bridge? A witch? No, neither of those sound right. It would be funny if they had a bit where he goes up and says, What's up, bridge? And she obviously doesn't understand what, what she thinks she's he's insulting her and then kills her or him or whatever the fuck. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place right now. Oh, the little scarecrow boy from the other night. How did you get here? I followed all the signs that said, don't go here. A witch lives up ahead. Ha <laughs> ha. Those silly little things. I never bothered to take them down. I have no idea who put those there. But yes, I suppose that's me. I am a witch. I suppose that's why I don't get many visitors. Well, except for you, it seems. What about you, little scarecrow boy? I've never met anyone like you before. What are you doing here? So I have something for you. 
What's this? A flower for me? How sweet. What is this for? For helping me get home the other day. I would have stuck in the woods if it wasn't for you. Haha, ha, I see. Thank you very much, though it is quite late for a visit. Do you always come out at night? Do your mom and dad know you're out here? Oh, uh, my dad doesn't know. I would get in trouble if he did. And your mom? <laughs> I don't have a mom. I see. Would you like... <laughs> okay. Yes, I don't know him, Perry. I'm starting to think now, like... What the fuck? Huh? I apologize. That must sound so sudden. It's just I've been alone out here for so long. Why, I can't even remember the last time I saw another person. And it's just... Forgive me if I appear a bit emotional. It's just I had a child once, but children don't stay children forever. That child grew up and left me here on my own. Does that mean this is actually grandma? I'm not sure what the fuck is going on. Well, that wouldn't make sense. Because then he said he hadn't seen with their own eyes. Like, my dad said he hadn't seen a witch with his own eyes. Ever since I've been well. Having a bit of empty nest syndrome, as they say. Your generosity and your kit, your kind smile just reminds me so much of my own little one. So I wouldn't mind if you wanted to come back again. Why? You could come visit me every night if you like. Make extra dinner to share and you can help me cook or read in my library or play in the yard. Be like having my little one back home again. Do you like that idea? Yeah, I really like that idea. Wonderful. Well, then let me ask you one last thing. What is your name? Oh, I'm Rio. What about you? I'm Vena, but you can call me mom. Is, uh... mm. Dear journal, dad got you for me a while ago, but I never used you. It's not that I didn't want to. I just didn't have anything exciting to be writing about. But now I do. The witch that people say lives in the woods. I met her, and well, she's my mom now. During the day, I help on the farm and spend time with dad. But when it's night... I sneak out into the woods and visit mom. I really like it. I help her around the house like I do with the farm, but it doesn't feel like a chore. She always has new stuff to find. Like the first time I went there, I found... Well, here's the inside. Please forgive the mess. I'm not used to, well, any company at all. Had I known I'd be having a guest, I would have tidied up a bit. I think it looks great in here. Reminds me of home. Well, I'm happy to hear it. Prepare some snacks for us. Feel free to look around. You can eat, correct? Being made of straw and all. Um, I think so. I never really tried it yet. Right. I guess we'll see. Make yourself at home. Man. I never heard of a living scarecrow before. Life is full of surprises. Damn, bitch. You live like this? Open book. Reading it, it says, To read it and to write is a powerful tool that should not be overlooked. We need to get, like, a footstool for that. Pile of old hay sacks. What's this? I had found a big pile of hay sacks sitting in front of something on the floor. I wanted to get a closer look, but before I could, I heard Mom say, I finished preparing everything. Come sit with me. I hope you like apples. What the fuck? Dude, I would be so pissed. <laughs> Fucking traipsed all the way into the woods for apples. Thanks, bitch. They're in season right now, so I have a lot stored up. Wow, these taste delicious. Thank you, uh, Mom. Sorry, I'm not used to saying that. No, this is... This is very Misa-pilled. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good night, Misa. Apples are kind of good. They are, but like... They get you excited for, like, a meal or something. I know it's certainly been a while since I heard it. It feels nice. All my friends have moms, you know? And I never thought that one day I'd get to have one of my own. I understand. I never thought I'd be able to have a child again. Yeah, here we are. You know, I should introduce you to Dad, too, but, uh... To figure out a way to do it without letting him know, I snuck out at night. He always told me the nighttime could be really dangerous, but look at me now. Out at night and totally fine. Your father is right to be concerned. You know, there are many dangerous things in the night, and even more so out in the woods. Really? Then why do you live here? 
Because I'm stronger than all of them combined. Really? You must be a super powerful witch then. You flatter me, but I don't think so. I'm strong enough to handle the things that go bump in the night, but not as strong as I'd like to be. How strong do you want to be? Because, like, my dad's a pretty strong witch, too. He brought me to life, after all. I can see that. If you want, I can ask him how he did it. Then I can tell you, and you can get as strong as he is. That's sweet, but I think I'll be okay. Damn, she thinks my dad is a pussy. Or maybe she is my dad. I have my own plan to get strong, and it won't be too much longer before I can see it through. If you say so, I guess. But if you change your mind later, let me know. I ate the rest of the apples and went home. She said she'd try to be more prepared for my next visit. The next time I visited her, I asked her about... Ugh! That didn't work either. I'll never be able to make this potion. Sure you can. It isn't that hard. Why don't you try again? Oh, this music is, is uh, making me a little sleepy. Okay. What if I just have to interact with this? Alright, if I'm making... Oh, let's do hemlock root. Water lily. Cobweb. Brown cap. Thistle. Okay, Thistle, Hemlock. Tolo, you suck at this? No, I'm a god, dude. I'm a fucking legend. I think I did it. See, I told you it was easy. You'll be an expert potion maker in no time, just like your mother. Haha, <laughs> you think so? I made some potions with Dad in the past, but he's always only let me make really specific recipes. I think he doesn't think I'm ready for the more advanced stuff yet. How silly. At this rate, you'll be an expert in no time. Come over here now. Help me with these potatoes for dinner. I hope that you don't mind that dinner has only been fruit and vegetables lately. It's hard to get in good meat out here, and I usually try to preserve what I can find for a special occasion. What if, like, we got Scarecrow fat? I don't mind. I actually like salads and stuff a lot. Um, then, I mean, Mom, yes? Can I ask you something? Of course. Go ahead. There's a lot of Scarecrows back in town. I was told it was to keep you away. Mm-hmm. But I'm a scarecrow. Do I, like, hurt you or something? Oh, no, no, dear. It's true that the scarecrows keep me away, but you're just one little scarecrow. And such a polite one, too, with a smile. Only someone as cute as you could pull off. You're nothing I can't handle. Uh-oh. The amount of scarecrows in your town, my, it's just nauseating. It feels like every home must have one or two sitting outside. I can't stay around that many scarecrows for so long. I get terribly sick. I collapse. I see. Don't give me that look. Like I said, I can handle a little scarecrow like you. But I want you to be able to see... Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. I'm sorry, Rio, but I think it's clear they don't want people like me there. Crows? Crows. I felt really bad about that. I'm sure the townspeople would like Mom if they got to know her. Maybe I could convince them to take all the scarecrows down. Then they, they'd see she's not bad at all journal i'm not sure if i should write about it i hear that writing things down can make you remember them better something happened last night and a nightmare i think i don't know what else it could have been even mom said i must have just been sleepwalking but it felt so real and scary i can't stop thinking about it even after she told me it wasn't real it all started last night i was getting ready to come back home and sleep until morning like i always do but it's raining oh my sounds like quite the heavy storm Mama, what do I do? Scarecrows get all soppy in the rain. How am I going to get home? I'm not sure if you can in that case. You can stay here, though, if you need to. I cleaned out the storage room to remove anything dangerous. There's an old bed in there, too. But what about my dad? 
I'm always in bed in the morning. If he sees I'm not home, he's going to freak out. I'll get in so much trouble. Sleep here for tonight. Right before the sun rises, I'll come and wake you. And you can run along home before your dad wakes up. You'll also tuck me in? Mom took me into the storage room. It was a bit cramped and there wasn't any windows, but there was a bed in there and it felt warm and cozy. She told me she would come back to wake me up in the morning. And then she left and I went to bed and then it started. Huh? Oh, shoot, my lantern. But that scream, what was that? Mom? Okay, I'm trying to. I don't know where she is, dog. She found my old writing. She hid them from me, so I can't look at them anymore. She warned me not to do it again. Joke's on you, old hag. I'm already smarter than you think. I just noticed there's, like, a fucking picture of someone. Uh-oh. Mom, where are you? It's really dark out, but at least the rain stopped. Is mom somewhere outside? That scream? I'll go look for her, but I don't think I can get around from just moonlight alone. I need a lantern. Okay. What's up, Chumsy? No, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Where, oh where, am I gonna get a lamp? Little old me. There's a chair next to the bookcase. Yeah, I'll go check it in a second, but it didn't look like a... Uh, hold on. An old toilet. Wait. What's this? A knife? I could take it with me. Okay, so now I can destroy hay sacks. Let's run hot water then. The mirror is fogged up. 6428. I did not noodle. Yeah, of course. Literally everybody knows the answer to this. Are you, are you insane? Alright, so let's save. I just got off the toilet. Yeah, you like reading those bottles too? Been there, bro. Library, library, library. Miss B works at the library. Miss B is a librarian. Mm -hmm. Wish Miss B was my mom. Oh, God. Fuck this place. All right, we got potions in here. Even Dad's worst potions don't smell this bad. What kind of potion is this? Do you have the time? All right. So, we got to look for a clock or something. Painting is following you. What do you, what you mean, homie? Chop, chop, chop. Get through this ASAP. I, oh, okay. A ladder? Where, where can I use this? I have a pretty good idea. The decent, uh... Can I get over to that side? I want to see what these marks on the wall are. Nothing. Okay. Wait, there's papers over here. It's a piece of paper on the ground. No one is safe traveling in the woods. Not as long as she is here. They are all doomed the moment they set foot into the forest. Instead of signs to warn them, I don't know if she knows I'm the one who's doing it. Even with warnings, it's still too late for some of them. At least find I at least find solace in believing that their ghosts will haunt her forever. I don't think she cares much. If you murdered the panda girl, I'll never forgive you. Like this fucking ugly thing? I would chop her up in a heartbeat, if that's what you're talking about. 
There's the lamp oil. Now I just need to find a lantern to go with it. I need hands for the clock. And then I should be able to get the time. Maybe. The thick one? Oh, the, yeah, that ugly freak? I'm not certain where to go to progress from this point on. Maybe I missed something in the room with uh, cutting everything up. Missed a thick panda girl? Not really. It kind of looked like that, but eh. Maybe the door, was there a door in the maze? I guess I'm blind, I did not see a door in the maze. Unless it's the uh, the one that needed the time. Oh, hold on. A crowbar. It's kind of small, though. There's a clock in the last room. Yes, I, I had checked it, and it doesn't have hands. So the crowbar means I, m I might be able to get either the chest or that locked door. What's up with the bags having blood? Well, she's making a potion that looks like blood in the other room. So she's making some sort of fucked up, like, blood ritual, it looks like. Okay. Do... Is this, like, a thing where I have to use items? Alright, so I have to pry something open. The chest, maybe. Then I have no idea. If not those two things, I'm not sure what I would be prying open. Maybe I do have to, like, use it like an item. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, G, L, B, Uh-huh. Because I checked that one because that little book on the third the third uh, shelf stood out to me. Stinky tomato soup. What if I just have to, like, cut all of the bags of flour? What could it mean? It's truly impossible to tell. Break open the locked door. Maybe. Uh, the crowbar time? I don't think it's just gonna be a pixel hunt with some random shit. I don't- I don't believe it would be here either, but... I did miss stuff in here, so let me give it another look over. No, there's no fucking way. Well, shit. Can I... No, it doesn't seem like I can use it to pry anything open. I mean... What are these things? Are these claw cans? Okay, so I never interacted with that crate in there, but I guess you needed to pry it open. 12.05, okay. Easy peasy. Which colors are you color? Oh, I'm I'm not colorblind. As far as I'm aware, at least. I'm just blind in general because I I don't I'm not very good at that uh observation thing. Seems to be some kind of a recipe book. Two six seven eight bones. Nineteen and a half gallons. Measures about 13 in total. Always add more and drink whatever's left over. And then there's the lantern. I'm not sure if that dial... Wait. A skull sits in the chair, but you can't recall seeing it in this room before. Uh-oh. 
Sif. <laughs> Sifferoni con carne. Hey. Uh-oh. Seems like our friend has, uh... Has got a little bit of a face wound. Yeah, sorry for the dog. She must hear... Someone must be walking around. How dare they? All right. Well, let's go outside. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, Rio? How does one join the Discord group? Uh, there should be... One of the mods can get a Discord link, and it is RuneScape 3 that we play right now. For that, you just have to add pickle suited, all one word, and message me when I'm on, and I'll invite you. What's wrong? Are you all right? There's there's what? Outside, there's dead. Someone's dead outside, Mom. Pardon me? She's on the tree, and she's all bloody, and she's not moving. I think she's attacked. I heard a scream. I thought it was you, and I got scared, so I tried to find you. Calm down, Rio. Let me see. Rio, there's no one out there, huh? But she, come look. It would have been funny if she was like, yeah, that, that's a dead guy, all right. Or girl, excuse me. It's just like she told me. There was no one out there. It was just the forest. But how can that be? She was right there. I saw her. It's possible you were just seeing things, huh? You said you heard a scream earlier, right? I didn't hear anything all night. I think maybe you were just sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? You probably just had a nightmare and snuck on over here in your sleep. It's probably from all the stress. You wanted to go home to your dad, didn't you? Right? I suppose it's only natural to be afraid of staying here. Oh, silly me trying to be a mother again. I'm not fit to be a mom anymore, am I? Don't say that. I love coming over and spending time with you. I think you're right. I was just having a nightmare. We just got GGG'd. We got girl pissed hard on that one. You know, it isn't raining anymore. And the sun is supposed to rise soon. I can only take you up to the bridge, but we, would you like me to walk you home? Thanks, Mom. Went to bed, woke up, saw Dad in the morning. Yes, it really was just a bad nightmare, but I never had nightmares like that before. Dear Journal, I'm going to visit her again tonight. I have to because I won't be able to see her tomorrow night because it's the Harvest Festival. Okay. Mm -hmm. I already spent the day with Dad, and I'll spend the night with Mom, so I'm glad in that way I can still kind of celebrate with her too. I'm glad I don't have to do like like chores on the farm now. I can just go and see my mama in the woods. Oh shit, I should have talked to that little fucker. Mom, I'm here. Sorry if I was late. Happy harvest night. Ha ha, happy harvest night to you too. And no worries, you're right on time. I'm still getting dinner ready. I'm almost finished though. So you can play around for a bit if you like or just sit at the table to let me know when you're ready to eat. Do I still have my items? I don't. But everything's the way it was, right? Hmm. The chest is gone. I'm trying to see if I can do something. The lantern oil is gone and there's a... Uh-oh. Turns out it might not have been a nightmare after all. Painting was a hang dude. Yeah, it was. He's normal now. Sit at the table when... I'm, I'm ready, mama. I sit real fucking weird. Are you excited for the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Mm-hmm. It's actually going to be the first one I'm allowed to attend. Even my friends are going to be there. Sounds fun. Hey, are you okay? Oh, yes. I was just thinking that one day I would like to be able to attend, too. I'm sure we can make it happen. I mean, once everyone in town realizes you don't mean any harm and stuff, yes, maybe one day. Still, though, I'd like to contribute to the festival somehow, some way, so I made something for it. It's this. This vial, the liquid inside, looks like the red stuff from that cauldron I saw the other night. It smelled awful. The town. There's a statue in the center, right? Of a goddess holding a chalice. Do you think you pour this vial into the chalice she holds? It's a good luck charm. I made it to ensure a wonderful harvest season for everyone. I don't know. I mean, tonight the chalice is going to fill up with moonlight. 
Supposed to have the same effect. Plus, um, I'm not supposed to touch the statue. Considered very sacred, and if I touch it, I could get in trouble for vandalisms and stuff. Please, Rio. I spent a long time on it, and it'd really mean a lot to me. You don't even have to come back after you do it. You can just go to bed at home. It really isn't a big deal, you know. I doubt you would get in that much trouble. I've done so much for you, haven't I? Can't you do this one favor for me, for your mother, after all she's done for you? No, you stupid bitch. No, I'm sorry I can't do that. Pardon me? Wouldn't be right, at least not without asking first. I was always taught to respect the goddess's statue. And that the only drink allowed in the chalice is moonlight. Really? After everything I've done for you? I fed you, I housed you, I taught you, and this is how you repay me? As if I owed you any of those things to begin with. I know, and I'm sorry, Mom. I can't do it then. You cannot be my child. Mom? The dad. I'm a nuggy. Dad, dad. Rio, was that you? Goodness, Rio. D dad, Rio, how did this happen? Your legs there. Dad, she's, she's, be quiet, Rio. It's okay now. As for you. Stay away from my son. That's a Morrowind cast spell. He's casting ice. Dad, you, that magic, it was supposed to be for the festival. What are you talking about? The festival? Oh, Rio, don't worry about silly fireworks here. More important than anything like that. Rio, are you... How do you feel? I'm okay, Dad. I can't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. I'm a scarecrow. That's good. That's good. I'm a little bit scared, though. What's going to happen when the sun comes back up? It won't. I'll make sure it doesn't. He's going to euthanize me. Don't be silly, Dad. There's no way you could do that. Nonsense. I'll drown this world in darkness if it means keeping you safe. Dad, what should I do? You don't have to do anything. If I sleep, will I be okay? Yes, you will be. I'll make sure of it. Okay, then I think I want to go to bed now. Yes, yes, that's all right. Good night, Rio. I love you. You'll see me in the morning. Pad N2, huh? Looks like we gotta be a lil sucker. We gotta go take the potion for... Ma mama. Shit, I didn't talk to the little fucker again. Hey, Sif. Talk to the crow? Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I thank you, Seamus, for the 54 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll get bad end one and have to do it again too, right? Well, the crow is like a naysaying fuckface. I don't like him anyways. Should fill it before midnight tonight. I know the results will be so wonderful. I'll be able to see them from here. I promise you. Go on then. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. No one's out here. All I gotta do is climb up on the statue and pour this in. Then I'll go home. Like she told me. I know it's nothing bad, but I still feel nervous about it. Never trust big titty goth mommies. For real, for real. I've got a drink for you. Climbed up on the statue and filled the chalice. There you go. It was a present from my mom, so I hope you like it. I'll see you again later for the Harvest Festival. Why is the goddess a cat girl? Ah. Uh, yawn. Good morning. Huh? Is it still nighttime? Why haven't I changed back? Dad? Dad, are you home? Where are you? Huh? What is all of this? And what happened to the farm? The sky? What's going on? I gotta go to town. I gotta find someone. I gotta find Dad. Uh-oh. Rio, there you are. Mom, what's happening? I can't find my dad or anyone. What happened? 
What happened? The Harvest Festival is happening. A grand start to an incredible harvest season. And it's all thanks to you. Look at it all. Isn't it beautiful? An endless supply of food. An endless celebration with the finest ambrosia one could ask for. And with us running it all, I had been waiting here for so long. Time and time again, I wondered if I even made the right choice choosing this place. They all said it wasn't worth it. That I should try someplace else, but where else would I be able to reap such a plentiful harvest? All my waiting is finally paid off, and it's all thanks to you, my beautiful son. The son I deserved all along. I'll be the queen of this world, and I guess that makes you my little prince then, doesn't it? What's with that face? Don't look so sad, Rio. I've invited all my friends. They'll be here soon to celebrate with us. And I know they'll want to thank you for the wonderful harvest, too. That doesn't seem like that bad of an end to me. You get your mama. Fuck this. No, I don't. Well, then what's the fucking good end then, dude? I guess I must have to talk to the bird. Maybe try going to the library? Maybe. Was that note? The library dad used to bring you here? No, it's the same text. They hate to see a girl boss win. Probably have to piss in her potion. I probably have to do something before dinner. You've opened that gilded chest of vanish? Maybe. I feel like they wouldn't let you go to this point and lock yourself out. I haven't seen you in a while. I know what you're looking for, kid. You want something subversive, right? Everyone talks about an evil witch in the woods, so you wanted to befriend her and prove them wrong, right? Then it turns out it's all one big misunderstanding. She was a good witch after all. Or maybe she was bad and just took the kindness of someone else to make her better. That's what all the storybooks teach you, right? Tough luck, kid. It doesn't work like that in the real world. Sometimes people are just evil and there's no helping it. And all the second chances in the world won't make a difference. I keep saying this kind of stuff, but I don't understand. Ever since I met her, she's been nice to me. She helped me get back home. She cooks me dinner. She teaches me stuff. What do you do for her in return? No good favor goes unreturned. She's going to make you pay her back for those favors one way or another. And I don't think you'll be ready for when that happens. I've given you the extent of my help. Maybe I can do something now. Maybe the, the, the option with the vials different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Toller, focus on getting the W. No, dude. Thank you for the 28-month resub. I appreciate it. I don't have to focus. All I do is get Ws. It's in my DNA. Do you understand? Now, what the fuck do I do here? Where on God's green earth? Well, maybe I can talk to her and something will change. It seems odd that I was never able to get into the locked door. Maybe I did fuck up. I guess we can see. I mean, the bird literally said he didn't think I was prepared. Take the vial. I bet you I have to, like, sabotage the potion earlier on in the game. Sort of thing. Or not the potion, but the cauldron. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do anything here. Do I have a save that is still in that dream segment, though, is the question. Walk past the bird a few times? I mean, I did, but that doesn't really have anything to do with the, uh, the thing here. Can you go home without using it? No, I just tried. At least I don't think it does. I think in this segment, I have to, like, ruin the potion somehow. I 
I think... Well, I thought I was pretty thorough, but there's still this door being locked. Okay, where am I in the progression of this? What do I have? Just the knife and the lamp oil, okay. Did I get everything here? I don't think I got the, the clock in the drawers. So let's go up and uh, do that really quickly. I hope I didn't like fuck myself out of being able to win. I have no idea, Crave. I don't think so. I don't think I had any items that were unused at least. It could just be you have to read and get the lore. Wish Miss B was my mom. Okay. I got the crowbar. I can get the hands. You reading? Well, I mean, I've read almost everything I've come across, but it might be a thing where you have to interact with a specific book in order to get, like, a script trigger or something. Read all the- no, we haven't read all the books in the library. My name is Ingram, my name is Ingram, my name is Ingram. Someone has written their name here multiple times over. Ingram. Okay. The quick brown fox, I'm so lazy dog, the quick brown- okay. I'm not certain what I'm supposed to be taking away from this. Can I climb up here and get this shit? Maybe it's like teaching uh, itself to read sort of thing. ABC book is awfully suspicious. Yeah, and it's like the same thing in two of them. There's like ABC, ABC, ABC. And then there's the the quick brown fox, which is a sentence that uses all of the letters of the alphabet. And then there's my name is Ingram. Okay. And there's this bone shit. Add more and drink whatever's left over. What if I... Damn it, I was hoping I could maybe go back on that shadow. Cutting open all the hay bales? Yeah, maybe. The thing is, like, I'm convinced I have to find something that will convince the little scarecrow boy that mom is evil and to ruin the potion. It has to be something like that, because right now he wouldn't have any motive to do that, so whatever we haven't gotten must be, like, text. See, this reminds me of, uh, stupid little books I read when I was a kid to learn how to read. There's gotta be, like, a fucking key. to get in here. Is that yellow book always there? The one to the left? I can go back and check. Hidden in the fog in addition to the numbers of the night. If only I could get it right that I'd be able to unlock it. Hidden in the fog. Wait. So... That's the, the, okay. Hidden in the fog in addition to the numbers of the night. So that's 1205 plus the uh, other one. That's in the mirror, but I don't know what exactly uh, I'm supposed to put that into. Okay, so now I just have to find the thing. 
Oh, hold on. Okay, so that would be what? Um. No. Okay, I guess I'm fucking on drugs. Maybe it's I'm misunderstanding what it's saying, because 1205 plus 64, that's like, uh... It should be right. So what if... Numbers of the night. What if it means the... Yeah, let me let me run it in the calculator. Maybe I'm just fucking texting math. 1205 plus 6428 equals... Oh. Um, it's exactly what I typed in. Okay. So it's not me being dumb this time, I think. But it could also mean the fucking skeleton stuff, too. But then if I did that, it would be more than 99999. Where'd you get 1205? Numbers of the night, right? On the clock? 1205? No, the foggy mirror is 6428. Oh, no. Now it's different now. It's different. Okay, you have to check the clock again. Okay, so now... Wait, wait, wait. 616? The simulation churns. The fabric of reality shifts. It all comes back to Raphael. Every fucking time. It's like, what? What's in here? There seems to be a collection of books in the chest. They're all children's books. Things like educational books. And fairy tales. Opening up the covers, you can see the library signature. These are way past overdue. <laughs> There's a note at the bottom of the pile. If you're reading this, I know you can read this. Don't even think about... Okay, put it back before I burn them. Jeez, okay, I guess they won't be taking any of these. What do you mean? So, um... That didn't seem to result in anything substantial. Now you can talk to the librarian, maybe. Maybe you get the strange vial and you take it to the librarian. I feel like there's more, though. This conspicuous red door really screams that I need to open it. Is it let down? Well, it's a trigger that might activate something else. <clears throat> like, maybe it'll add another dialogue option or something. Okay. There's a tuple behind that door. You gotta cast the worm kill. Surely the overdue books convince him she's evil. You're gonna piss if that's the trigger. Did do the potion mini game, but there was only one way to do that though. Like, it didn't seem like there was a way I could have done it to uh, sabotage, and I wouldn't have had the knowledge that I needed to do that. Okay. Interacting with the candles in the main areas. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to, to bear any fruit. Examine the painting. It just says you maybe you couldn't see well in the dark. Have you ever done a backflip on the trampoline and into the water, but not like a standing backflip? What about the crow one? Yeah, maybe. Painting looks different from before. I'm just... Hmm. 
No, kid. It only appears once you start leaving. I tried. Maybe if you murder all the sacks, something is inside one. I th are there sacks I haven't gotten at this point? World can be the way. Yeah, this br this one doesn't seem important. And this is... It doesn't have a yellow book, so it doesn't say anything worthwhile. In the maze. Okay. Let's go and uh, kill the maze things. Oh, this is not the right way. Maybe something amazing will happen. You never know, right? What if there's, like, Baby Yoda in one of these sacks and we end up killing him? I think that's all of them. Seven. There's seven blood stains. Maybe that's relevant. Panda girl. Panda girls died twice. How does that make you feel? I think it's possible that we can proceed now. I'm going to save. Tell myself it's not the canon timeline. You slash the paintings? No. Because the slash is the same as interacting. I tried that. Go to the town before going to the witch? No, you're right. Once you have this conversation, you're more or less railroaded into whatever happens, it seems. Unless you mean... Oh, I think I know what you mean. I don't know if I've tried that. I could definitely give it a shot. I see what you mean now. Please skip. Like at this point you go down. You don't need to go into town. You don't have to go inside right now. Okay, so. Now the crow will probably tell me I'm not prepared. See, that kind of makes me think that I'm fucked if he says that to you. But in this section, we can play around for a bit. Which, maybe, maybe we can do something in here. Because it's got, there's got to be a reason why it would let you just wander around, right? She moves fucking everything. But I don't know. I feel like I tried to search around and couldn't find anything different the last time. I have to do something with the library before you go to her house? Maybe. Maybe you really do have to talk to the crow at every opportunity. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't have the crowbar anymore. No, all of your eyes, because he thinks that segment is a dream. Let me see. Come on. Doesn't seem like there's any difference. I'm not sure what the fuck I would do differently. Strange red liquid. I feel like our inventory disappearing is really important. Yeah, well, you think you hide your tools somewhere? Check the cauldron before dinner. I don't think I did. I suppose I could. 
something else that needs to be interacted with earlier in the story. I feel like they wouldn't make it to where it would happen before the obvious gameplay segment where there's shit going on. Oh, oh, oh. I that's not what I meant to do. Hold on, how do I? No, not that, not that. No, that is what I meant to do. Fuck, I'm on drugs. Because I wanted to check the, the cauldron beforehand. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting confused. There's like a bunch of things I have to try, but I don't know what order to try them in. Is there anywhere else to explore after pouring in the vial? No, that's you just lose once you do that. Is there like a... God damn it. I'm trying to find out if there's a way that I could skip through this dialogue at a reasonable rate. It doesn't look like it, sadly. Hold button? Yeah, I mean, I can hold it, but it's still just about as fast as tapping it. T t try controller Z. Jesus, I can't talk. No, I just gotta hold. Okay, Seth, hold on. She keeps bothering me to be let out of the room. I might have to turn it on in options. Yeah, I'll do that when I'm, uh, I'll see after this. Oh, jeez. Mm -mm. That Sif knows how to open doors. Only if they're not firmly attached or if they have a uh, certain type of handle. I don't think talking to the crow is important. Just gonna skip them. See, this shit is... It's not even... I don't even have anything going on with it. Genuinely think you have to go back farther in the saves and interact with more things. Maybe. I think at that point I'm just kind of fucked, though. Because it would be hours of trial and error. Get to do something during that potion-making section. Maybe, but, like, it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever because the Scarecrow doesn't has not seen anything that would give him an inkling that something was afoot. Is the clock different? It's 616 still. I know what you need to do, but don't want to spoil your fun. No, you just tell me. I'm not having fun with this one. I think we are all ready to move on from this. Real Mark of the B616. Able to explore during the position mini game. Need to talk to the bird every time. I've done that, though, have I not? I mean, I guess not. Can you go into the basement? Only when the lantern has been lit in the witch's house, a fifth yellow book will appear in the bookshelf downstairs. Read it and add the numbers in the mirror to the mirror. To the Unlock the chest in the... But I can't get in the witch's room. That's the problem, right? Like, I've done all of that up until being unable to get into the witch's room. Because it's locked. Back in the first forest section, you needed to talk to the bird every time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, like, locked out because of the, the first, like, ten minutes. Nice. Okay, well, I think this one's fucked then. I didn't... I don't want to end on bad endings, but that's, like, I really literally have to replay the whole game at that point, basically. Alrighty. Well... I like the game other than that, I guess. I like we could just say that the canon ending was becoming a little a little prince to our mommy. How exciting. I think for a lot of people that would be a satisfactory ending. I like the nugget ending. YouTube, the other ending, fuck that. Yeah, like I'm okay with puzzles that are confusing, but like something arbitrary like talking to the bird at every point in the forest. Eh. <laughs> I don't really don't really like that as an idea too much did like the puzzles yeah it was fine other than that alrighty well sorry that it ended on kind of a sour note but hopefully it was enjoyable otherwise I will catch you guys another day 
Uh, take it easy. Have a good week.